Hello, everybody. I think I'm almost ready to get started. So let's chat a little bit. Let's set some expectations. So we are playing the PS1 version of Legends of Mana on my PS3. I was debating what version to stream since they did technically remake this game on Steam and it's available for modern consoles. I'm not sure as of the time... Yeah. Grah, indeed. I'm not sure as of the time that we're recording this, this is still true, but when it first came out on these other PC alternatives, there was a big issue with DeNovo slowing everything down. And I'm also going to be honest with you, I really did not like the graphical enhancements from the latest version, so I'm going to go back to the old one with no enhancements. However, since I am playing it on a PS3, this allows me to put certain save files onto the memory card that we're using for the game. And the reason why this is important is because a long, long time ago, PS1 games used to have secrets depending on what games you had in your memory card. So we should be booting up fully with all the secrets. I'll try to point them out as we come across them. Hopefully look forward to that if you've never seen them before. One other thing I would say uh, in order for to set proper expectations is one, Chad is going to have to think of a character name as well as a weapon, as well as what gender the character is. We are playing kind of an open form story so this may or may not be something that people are interested in in terms of like a narrative. So I'm going to be following a walkthrough for the most part. There are a lot of missable events. I will still probably miss events in terms of at least recording them in the little journal at least. But I will do my best to follow the order in this guide as this game is very notoriously finicky as to whether or not you will get all possible events. And that also includes placing the buildings in the world map. And if you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. But just be aware, there are a lot of things that have to go into this run in order to see 100%. I cannot promise you we will see 100%. It is very, very, very easy to mess up the events. So we'll do our best. And yeah, hopefully chat likes this version of the Mana series, but this will probably be the last one that we do for a while potentially ever again we'll see <laughs> but welcome in parameter hope you're doing well so let's go ahead and turn the music off and we're gonna do a very quick audio check so just let me know chat if this is too loud i'm gonna switch it to the game do some menu sounds so you can hear what it sounds like when i'm talking I think for the most part it's fine, but if it's slightly too loud, I'll turn it down. Yeah, character, gender, yeah, so we choose the gender of the character, which is like choosing the character and then the weapon, as well as the name. So we'll we'll go one by one. There's a there's a very specific starting point I'm going to use in order to potentially see 100% of the things. I will talk about what I recall from this game. It has been a very long time. I think I haven't played it since literally 2000, <laughs> to give you an idea. So this game is not super fresh in my head, so do, apology, do apologize if I'm talking a little nonsense with the mechanics. I will try to have my hands remember some of the gimmicks of this game. Wonder what kind of weapon it is? Oh, don't worry. We can swap no matter what the choice is. Uh, but what it does impact is that depending on what weapon we're holding at the time of our level up determines our stats. So from what I recall, a very long time ago, you essentially go to like mid-80s-ish with one-handed sword. Then you switch over to something into last three levels of hammer. Welcome, Dango. <laughs> I think that's roughly correct. If you wanted near-perfect stats. For my playthrough, I don't care. You could do whatever you want to my stats. If you want me to show off some weapons, I'll probably swap into whatever I want. But hopefully you're doing well. So unfortunately, I think there is a little bit of a sound bug on the name part. So I'm going to ask chat to come up with a very short name. Let's say about six characters before we go on the next screen. So we have the male on the left, the female on the right. So just let me know, chat, which character you would like to play here. I believe it does determine the pronouns used. 
Otherwise, both of them are pretty androgynous, to be honest with you. I think that was purposefully done. It doesn't impact any story content we see. It's purely preference, what the chat would like to see. Well, I gotta remember how sensitive the controls are. I have to look into doing that. Okay, so we'll go male. So what do you want to name the character? So again, do apologize. You're probably gonna hear the, like, the... This sound effect when we're in the names. It's a PS3 issue, as far as I know. I don't recall this occurring on the original PS1. Sorry for those imperfect emulators. <laughs> e even in the official emulator of PS3. Doesn't quite get there. So just assume six characters. I don't want to put in a long name. <laughs> Maybe we'll hear the tale of Ert Amp. <laughs> so sadly, no bandana. I'm just looking at what this character has. So by default, I think it shows them with the sword. We don't have to go with the sword. We got very pointy shoes. So we're kind of living a faux Newman life almost. But predominantly, our character is going to be attacking. I will almost never use the magic system in this game. There's a lot of systems in this game that are kind of... I'm going to say unrequired. Unrequired, unless you're doing a harder difficulty. I plan on just playing through the standard difficulty. I believe if you beat the game, you unlock something called No More Future, which greatly amplifies the difficulty. Call it Trey. Sure, let's call him Trey. Oh, I'm sorry. We have a weapon select first. So let me vaguely describe these as I remember them from about 24 years ago. So we have Knife. Knife advantage, it has quick multi-hits. Downside, range, power. It can struggle a little bit to kind of like burst people, so normal fights may take a bit longer. I remember it being okay at stun combos. Up next, we have One-Handed Sword. This is probably the most balanced of the weapons, quote-unquote. It has very strong skills, as does Axe beneath it. However, I think the stat growth on this is just phenomenal. So if we're talking about a pure, like, metagame perspective, pretty much everybody will choose this for, for perfect stats. We will not hit a level, I think, where it matters to swap off of this for those that are curious in our playthrough. But for people looking for perfection, you'll probably stick with one-handed sword. In fact, let me just double check what the exact level is. Since we're here, we might as well as. See how much I remember from off the cuff. Use one-handed sword until you reach 83. I was pretty close, and then use staff until 96, hammer until 99. So it is the last three levels of hammer, I did remember that at least. But anyway, uh, it's just got really solid stat growth all around. Axe is a little more clunky, so I kind of like the big thrust swings of the sword. We'll be doing a couple of techniques that I feel really funny when I look at reviewers for this game describe the combat, and I'm like, did. Did they ever do a thrust move? So potentially between the two swords, we have some pretty ludicrous thrust attacks. So if we do like a quarter circle motion equivalency, or I believe left, right, like going back forward will also cause a thrust to occur. We can end up doing a lot of burst damage to normal enemies. We're going to be doing that to hopefully save some time later. Uh, I don't remember too much about Axe other than it is, I think about the same range of sword. Honestly, I really don't remember the big differences between these. I do want to say the axe is slightly slower than the sword when it comes to frame data, but essentially they're very, very close. It's not like one is like instant swing and the other is real slow. So one thing we have to be careful about with the two-handed weapons in particular are that the power moves have a bit of a wind-up time. So you'll see this in particular for hammer, sword, and two-handed axe, or two-handed sword, two-handed axe, and hammer. So this is really good for just like grunt clearing, but it might not have the best stun lock. I think sword and axe have really easy stun locks from what I remember, and spear also has easy stun locks. Hammer is just raw damage. It trades a lot of speed in order to just bonk people. A lot of the stat growth, I think, is focused on power. Generally speaking, think of it this way. If, if it's a bigger weapon, it will generally give us more stats. Spear is kind of a in-between, kind of a long-range poking style. It's pretty safe. Oh, items on cooldown. Welcome, Arctic Chaos. 
And finally, we have, well, finally, we have a couple of things at the bottom here. We have staff when it comes to melee. This is probably my least favorite weapon type, to be honest with you. It looks like it should have, like, so much range. Like, when you look at the spear and the staff, like, the spear hits about where you think it does. The staff does a lot of vertical twirls in their combo, which means that your attack hitbox is actually sometimes almost as short as knife. So this has very poor range. The reason I think you select this from, like, a gameplay perspective is that it boosts your intelligence intelligence a lot per growth and it also influences magic damage but as i said before we're not going to be playing with magic um we got the classic i don't need weapons i'm gonna kick you to death so i believe we have a couple grapple moves that we can use on them and it probably has the most ridiculous stun combos in the game the damage is not the best but it is funny punching and kicking everything to death i'm not gonna lie kind of an in between with stun combos is flail so if we do a lot of quick attacks with this and we do proper quick cancels, we should dizzy basically every enemy because Flail's multi-hit. Um, I don't really have more to say to that. I like it like a little more than Dagger. That's because I like stun combos. And finally, we have the ultra safe bow. We give up a lot of the core mechanics of the melee weapons. Honestly, I don't really think bow is worth it for the most part unless I'm playing like a challenge mode thing. The reason being is that like melee weapons outside of the staff are generally really fast at killing things. There's only a couple times where I would say maybe I would consider using the bow and that's when I'm very specific boss fights. But otherwise like you can basically infinite loop them with like more than half the weapons in this game. I don't think you could do it with bow. So there's a little, there's a few tricks we're going to try to remember in combat. I know, for example, there are jump cancels, there are thrust cancels, and there are uh, skillless cancels. I will try not to annoy chat with the skillless cancels because it requires hitting a skill button that's not assigned to cancel a combo. I don't know why that's a thing, question mark, but it is. So anyway, we have all these wonderful weapons. So did any stand out to the chat? Are we sorting people to death with the true meta power? Are we playing big hammer, big smash? One thing to denote since we're here while chat decides, um, there are a lot of skills in this game. Now, I recall some of them being a lot better than others, but essentially what we're looking to do when it comes to these things is in order to get new supers for weapons, we need to unlock skills. So I have mostly memorized it from when I used to play back in the day. But essentially, if we're going sword, we'll probably go to flip kick, since that's probably the best overall command in the game, I think, from what I recall. Uh, but we'll be unlocking other things as we go through there. So for example, so Chad is aware of what I'm talking about. You start with some basic abilities. I believe it's jump, defend, Rush or lunge, it might be called lunge. Retreat, crouch, push, cheer, and spin. So by combining two abilities together, you could create a third ability for the most part, if they're compatible. The easiest one I can remember off the top of my head is like crouch and jump is a uh, high jump, for example. And eventually by having those other skills assigned and doing X number of battles, you will unlock another ability. And in doing so, you'll unlock new specials for weapons. So generally speaking, there are weapons that prefer you to be more mobile. And they might be looking for us to learn things like Moonsault, Double Jump, uh, or potentially Flip Kick. But yeah, we'll just kind of wing it. <laughs> I, I don't have a plan when it comes to that. I mostly recall what the ability combos are. If I'm really not sure, I'll take a look at them later. So anyway, Chad, I do need a weapon selection. Yeah, the only one that I recall not liking is Steph. Ludana Hunt, indeed. I, I can play, I think, with everything here. Bow's probably my second least favorite. Alright, we go with Spear. Oh, it's actually behaving it. No, it's no longer behaving itself. I was gonna say I was so happy, but no. How do I delete letters? Undo. Yeah, see it like adding letters in? I don't know why it's doing that. Apologies for that. It shouldn't do that. It's an emulator bug. I was gonna say. Oh, almost. Yerg. 
See it like just adding random letters? It's so weird. I don't know why it does that. <sighs> Annoying. I might have to call myself you, honestly, with the bug, sadly. I just want to try one thing. If I unplug this briefly, will this cause it to not do that? One second. Going to behave yourself? No, you're not going to behave yourself. Oh, now it doesn't want to respond at all. That's unfortunate. I was going to say, I was going to see if I could do it there. So that's fine. We'll restart it with you in a second. So sadly, I think there's also an old PS3 bug. Let me see if I can fix it. I don't think it'll register. No, it's not going to register. That's unfortunate. Let's reset it real quick. So PS or no, yeah, PS3, PS1 connection can be kind of finicky. So sometimes if you drop the controller, it just literally doesn't let you input anything. And if that happens there, we'll just do a hard reset. So we're going to leave it as you, sadly. Since, uh, for whatever reason, it's ultra glitchy. I could try one more controller, I guess. But I don't know why it does that. It's, like, clearly inputting stuff. See, it's behaving itself now on the screen. Whatever. Let's go with Spear. So sadly, we might just have to be you. Yeah, see, it like, it even, like, defaults to that for some reason. I don't really know why. We'll just go with this. This is fine. Oh, is it behaving itself now? Sort of. I think I can work with this. Just ignore the clicking for a little bit. It will go away, I promise. Any fun little symbols I can add before we go further? We'll do like a little little music note. Alright, so here's the hard, here here's the easiest part to mess up in the game and we're already here. So we're at the world map. Select play area. Darken areas cannot be chosen. So you basically as long as there's a certain number of land tiles, it'll let you select the location. Now, believe it or not, doing this will potentially just lock you out of a lot of quests. So I'm going to go to a very specific portion. I believe it's left two, down three. That looks correct to me. So the reason we want to do this is that we need to be able to build our base for a long period of time. And we need to make sure to leave certain buildings or excuse me, towns, excuse me, not buildings. We need to leave certain towns completely uninterrupted. And unfortunately, if you have water in certain locations, when you are forced to place a water relic, it can cause you to mess up what you're building for a quest later on. So to avoid doing that and being forced to place a tile where I don't need it to go, we're going to select this location. Yes, I would like this location. There we go. The Mana Seed is there. Place Mailbox on the map. Select a spot with the directional button and press X. You may place the mailbox on the brightly colored areas. I was gonna say, don't you dare miss and put that. So, okay, so the what we're gonna do, I believe we have to go all the way down, and I'm gonna place our first building right here. I'm gonna count this. So there should be three tiles. So one, two. Wait, how many tiles? Are... Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five. Six, right? Okay, so we don't want to put it all the way in the bottom right. Just confirming that. And then I need to see where the water is. So it should be... If I did this right, we'll be five tiles from it. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Okay, that's all I needed to see. <laughs> so this is... One, two, three. So I need to put it right here, I believe. This will make more sense later. For now, I'll just acknowledge that I have to put it in a very specific spot. So 
sadly, Chad, I will not give you control over placing the buildings if we want to see all events. Welcome to the intro, Chan. There we go, chat. Not quite Terra's Pharma. But it is the Monetary slash Yggdrasil. You can blame the Yggdrasil, chat. Nine centuries ago, the Monetary burned to ashes. The Power Mono lived on inside stones, enchanted instruments and artifacts. They just fought with each other for control of these last remnants of mana. I wasn't sure how long it's gonna get me, and be real with you. Oh, it's actually being kinda nice. This is gonna wait for me to press. Let's watch. I will say, though, the music in this game is fantastic. If you are familiar with Kingdom Hearts music, it is the same composer. You can hear elements of Kingdom Hearts, actually, in the soundtrack, which I find interesting. Then after 100 years of war, as the power of mana began to wane, those who sought it grew scarce, and the world returned to peace. After that, mankind grew afraid to desire, their hearts filled with empty emotions, and grew estranged from my hands. They turned their eyes away from my infinite power, and were troubled by their petty disputes. <laughs> I don't know if a playthrough of that will happen, but you can be optimistic. Remember me. Need me. I can provide you with everything. I am love. Find me, and walk beside me. I didn't want to accidentally mispronounce it. Thank you for the clarification. There's our little loading symbol. So there we go. We are now home. We're just immediately going to go to sleep. I need to make sure everything is here. 
So we have Cho Saga Frontier 2, Chocobo Racing, and Final Fantasy 8. That will be important for later. <laughs> for now, it doesn't do anything. <clears throat> so you might have noticed there's an option for two-player control. So sadly, that's one thing where I have, it's like... It's, it's very jank in this game, I guess the best way to put it. More often than not, we're going to have story-related characters in the party. And it is fun to control some of them. Notice I say some of them. Uh, there's also something you could do in the starting town where you could basically go to the church and then be told about multiplayer, and then that allows an abandoned house to be checked, so that way you could check another save file in your other memory card to have two-player. I don't really know how that works in the Steam version, so... I just wanted to mention it here. It is a two-player game, technically. We're going to be coming to the... Okay, I had to figure this out. Oh, there we go. So, already, Chan, I'm going to exhibit some advanced tech. So you can see, that's my running speed. Look what happens when I wiggle. I think they call it wiggle running. It is very exhausting to do. But technically, the whole time I'm playing, if I wiggle, I'm going to go further faster than normal running. So anyway, I'll probably forget to do that. <laughs> Just be aware, chat. There are some interesting things you can do here. I think there's 68 events? Six, oh, because you can't complete the 68th with the journal. That's fine. So, yeah. So there's 67 total events. There are some bonus ones, which I don't think count towards this. Question mark. So that will be our progress tracker. We're coming to one of chat's favorite characters. It's Little Cactus that we saw earlier. If we talk to him, after we complete a story event, he'll write it down. Please note, I'm probably not going to get all the events in the diary. It is very easy to have things interrupt that and fail. So I'm just going to apologize preemptively. For all the people that want it, it's probably not going to happen. So yeah, this is where we can normally select the other difficulty. You can see kind of like the old ring menu. So if you want to learn about anything in the game, if I want to learn about different characters, they'll slowly get updated here. So you can see there's 70, 79 named characters will be coming across. Just to give you a little bit of an idea. As you kind of got an idea from the intro, all the major areas, dungeons and towns included, have been turned into artifacts. So as we complete other quests, some are more kind of one-offs, some are related to the story, and a few of them will are 100% needed for progression. There are optional places we could do. There's a lot of optional things we can see. Let's see how close I was. Jump, defend, lunge, retreat, crouch, push, cheer, spin. Man, I got that list down, chat. It has been a long time since I played. So anyway, there's like 217 total moves. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> Just, that's not happening in this playthrough, spoilers. So let's attempt to pause the game. Let's figure out what button it is. Well, can I not do it in here? Maybe I can't do it in here. That's fine if I can. But anyway, at some point we need to be able to pause and check out our other stuff. Right now I don't think it matters. Sure, I'll open the treasure chest. We got 100 lucre. So I believe we gotta talk to you to advance the plot. I'm a Sproutling! The world can be shaped by your imagination. Did you know that? I knew that. Here you go! You get AF, which... <laughs> I <laughs> I don't think means what, quite what they think it means, but that's our artifact. So with our new artifact, we... I'm going to double check where to place this. We will be able to go to the first town. And from the first town, we have several quests that we potentially can start. I need to also make sure to not start certain quests where I'm going to be very, very sad. <laughs> Just letting you know, chat. If we go out of order, we're in the Wild West. I don't know what will happen. This is the town of Domina. So I'm not even going to explore the rest of the house because I know there are events tied to those. We're going to ignore those for now. 
So we can see the status of the mana tree. It's still a seed. Press square to select an artifact. So you can see along the bottom left whenever we have an artifact. I figure I'd just mention it now. There are different elementals that are influenced by this. So some of this will be related to quest unlocks. So for example, I might need Dryad, the third of the elementals there, to be maxed. I might need Shade to be maxed for certain quests. Uh, but generally speaking, as you place more items around each other, it will boost the difficulty of that area. So for example, if I wait for a very long time to place things around Domina, I can cause the shop and similar things to upgrade. Similarly, if I put in a lot of dungeons around other things, I believe that will also boost their difficulty. So I need to be very careful with where I place this. So I believe, because I need to touch this for pretty much not the rest of the game until we're in like the final four, from what I remember. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and place this here. So let's go to Domino. So now, I need to be very careful with who I talk to. <laughs> Here we go, Chad. It's all about fear. I fear getting the wrong event. You have no idea. <laughs> it's so easy to take an event. So we're going to see this. We are not going to touch this with like a 30 foot pole. I don't want to touch this event. So anyway, we have, uh, I believe his name is Onion Knight here going, Hey! At least give me your name. Dot, 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 dot. Elazel. So that's supposed to be the first quest that you pick up in the game. By following them into the bar. Jeez. He makes me sick. We could talk to him if we want to. I'm Duel, Onion Warrior. I was close. My friend Tipo's in the shopkeeper's house. Meet me there if you want to talk. So it is kind of interesting that some of them will move around. We can see him actually enter the other house if we linger long enough. Which I think is a nice touch. So anyway, this is the two-player house. It doesn't do anything at the moment. I believe I need to talk to the person at the church in order for that to be unlocked. Right, so now we're looking for a very specific character. So I believe I have to go to the marketplace for this. I'll talk to this Rowling. Everyone with a soul always disappears. We don't have souls, so we always stay. The the poet Pokiel said so. Hmm. We'll be seeing that character later. Aha. This is the character I want to talk to. I don't really know what he is. Like, I guess he's like a cat rabbit hybrid. Anyway, let's talk to Niccolo. My name's Niccolo. I'm a traveler merchant. The highway's full of bandits. It's too dangerous to leave the town. Don't you think so? We're gonna say. No. How brave of you. You can always do business with those highwaymen around. All of avoiding cutscenes, we call it being antisocial, something like that. Let's go teach those bandits a lesson. Welcome, Calvisham. Is this my first play of the game ever? On stream, yes. Real life, no. I'm following a very specific guide for this. Once we're done, I'll make you rich. Uh, I'll say yes, and this should start the event. You're quite a mercenary. I like people who know the value of money. There we go. Niccolo's business unusual. So that was the sound effect of a teammate joining up. I still need to stop and see Tipo. Come with me. Oh, can I not pause in towns? I thought I could, but I don't seem to have the option to. Interesting. Uh, Tipo, I think, was in this building. Indeed. I talked to you. Thought getting Rachel a job would help cheer her up. I don't hardly get to see her anymore. Oh, yeah. Let me give you this book about weapons, armor, and instruments. Look it over in your study. Feel free to check out our shop. 
See if equivalent encyclopedia. Okay, we got the equipment encyclopedia. Adventure, eh? Should at least get some bronze gloves at the shop. Don't forget to equip them. Hit the start to make your preparations. It actually isn't letting me press start, which is a bit concerning. Why, it's Niccolo. Hello, Gov. How you been? Have you got anything good for me today? Actually, I have a splendid item today, but I just can't let it go. Oi, Niccolo. You were just trying to rile me up. It's just junk anyway. Quiet, Onion. This is it. It's a wheel I picked up on the highway. Hmm. Looks like a regular old wheel to me. Fine, I'm going. You're right. This is just an old wheel. Nothing special. Hang on then, Gov. Even I can tell it ain't no regular wheel. I'll take it. How much you want for it? 50,000 lucre. Niccolo, you're a wee too proud for your own good. Nothing costs that much. It's the truth. Bring me 50,000 lucre. Until then, I'll let Trey use it. We got the AF wheel. Niccolo, you're the bleeding worst. I'll cut the money, so please let me have it. I'll be back. Bloody artless. Let's see where we're talking to Tipo again. By the way, Niccolo, don't you have anything I could buy right now? Just spend money to make money. Remember that. I'm in Rachel's room. We haven't met Rachel. I believe she works at the bar. I think I can go into the shop here just to showcase things. <laughs> Interestingly, there's the stone statue of somebody just casually in the room. The game really wants you to buy gloves for some reason. I'm not going to do that. So anyway, if you had any second thoughts about the weapon choice, we could do that there. Chad, every time I'm here, you have no idea. The stress is insurmountable of making sure I put this in the right spot. <laughs> this, this is definitely the worst part about playing the game. I really wish it was not as finicky to see all the events. So we've now unlocked our first dungeon. I'm gonna go ahead and save at the house, actually. And hopefully this will not trigger something that I don't want to trigger. Or else I'll be very, very sad. Some business to do. See you later. I don't know if that messed it up, actually. I think he comes back, or I can just recollect him. I need him regardless for the quest. Ready to do another safety save. You save. Worst thing that happens is I just ignore the save. Gotta be to the right of that mountain on the side of the river you can't see just above the forest or you lose the path forever. I'm not sure what you mean by that. So anyway, I gotta go recollect Niccolo, sadly. Unless you're just making fun of how ridiculous the, uh, the events are. Yeah, you have to know about stuff ahead of time, which is kind of annoying. It's definitely meant to be replayed so you see the events. Yeah, it definitely is like, oh, you didn't know you need to put the mana tree near something? Oops. Get wrecked. <laughs> it's only like, it's only at least like 20 more artifacts in. It'll be fine. So anyway, I think things will be fine as long as I go collect Niccolo. Okay, now we can complete his quest. Hmm. 
<laughs> I'm very careful to not explore chat. You have no idea. <laughs> There's so many events. I'm like, no, 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 no. We're going in a very specific order. If I accidentally trigger something, I reset. It's that simple. Let's go to our first dungeon. And let's hope that I'm able to uh, access the menu, since I think I should have been able to do that in town. I'm not entirely sure why I would be locked out of the menu, but that would make the gameplay impossible. Which is very sad, because I tested movement in this game. Oh, it's really not going to let me access the menu? Oh, that's actually really bad. Um, We'll continue for now. I do need my menu at some point. Your name's Chumpy, right? I'm going to say nope. Oh, well, that doesn't matter. Let me tell you some things to help in battle. What do you want to know? Uh, what's something helpful? It's too difficult. How can I win? What if I say it's too difficult? Just go out and have fun. Can't do anything unless you try. Don't make it difficult on yourself. Just give it your best. I don't think I really need his advice here. I really need to be able to access this menu, though. Give me one second, Chan. Let's see... Okay, we got the memory card set up. Is there something I can do? Does it care if it's in digital mode or not? No, digital mode doesn't work. I don't think this will work either. Oh, it worked there. Now you let me access the menu? Well, that's kind of annoying. Hmm. So we have a conundrum. I need AF start button. Yeah, it seems to not... Like, I now no longer have control over the controller here. Uh, let me think. This is something I didn't come across in testing because I didn't bother equipping things. But this is kind of a problem. So I guess we'll talk about the menus here as I charge another controller, just in case it's controller related. So essentially what I'm looking to do here is we could see some of the basic stats. The only one that really matters for me is that upper left one because I believe that is the strength score. We have an ability called Synchro, which we'll see as soon as we get into combat. And essentially from that standpoint... Ah, uh, there we go. I, I tricked it into recognizing a new controller. <laughs> I want you to know, chat, that took two controllers to do. Um, so from our standpoint, you know, I could see the total damage that I deal. I could see my defense against the basic slash thrust strike, etc. and magic. I don't have anything to really equip at the moment. I can look at the status. So I can see, for example, the different types of plunge attacks that I can do. <laughs> Intense menuing, yeah. I was gonna say, I remember the PS3 being finicky on some games. I didn't realize this was gonna be one of them. So essentially, uh, we don't have any new weapons. So we can ignore those for now. This is where it's kind of important. I need to change these abilities so that I start learning new techniques. I guess I'll go with the old Faithful. If I want to get to Flip Kick, I need to get Back Flip and Back Roll, I believe. Which means that I need at some point Jump plus Retreat, I think should be fine. And this should enable me to get new abilities. So if I press Triangle and Circle at the same time, I will get the combined ability, so technically I can only assign two, but if they're synergistic, I will get a third ability. Now sadly we don't have any STs or special techniques, aside from our starting Lancer, but I might as well as assign it. Magic is controlled by instruments, we're gonna be not using that system basically at all. Sorry people that love magic, I'm not using it in this game. We can see our NPC partner, so he has a synchro effect of bonus lucre, so I believe... If we are close enough, we will trigger trigger the synchro effect. So I can cause passive regen HP to people that are near me, and he could cause me to get bonus money, I believe is how that works. So sadly, I think one of the downsides to this game is that they have set equipment, and it never really updates a lot throughout the game. Like, in specific quests, it might jump every now and then, but I don't get to equip these characters. So while he is very tanky compared to me, he will be hilariously terrible later in the game. 
yeah, we could see the ability I was talking about before, Somersault and Back Roll. So this kind of gives you an idea of potentially what moves you can unlock in the future, which is kind of interesting. The downside to uh, special techniques in this game is they do have a big windup. So unless it says like medium damage or higher, and honestly, to some extent, major damage or higher, they're generally not worth using unless they have uh, a very strong damage rating because they just take too much time to use. Now I can see all the different things that I have here, but we're too early in the game for that to matter. We can see the different artifacts I've collected. I can see the different events, including ones that I may or may not have gotten recorded. Oh, hold on, we can turn on the vibration. Ooh, now I'm living in the PS1 era. Oh, see, now it's working as intended. Okay, whatever. <laughs> so anyway, we, we gotta do the, the wiggle runs at some point. Sadly, there's not really, like, the equivalency of escaping combat. So we're just gonna take the combat. Let's learn a little bit. Oh, yeah, so Square's my power attack. Interesting. We'll take these. We gotta collect the items after battle. So that's not bad for, like, just kind of coming in. I want to make sure the AI is not controlling me. That felt a little weird. Let me see if I just move around. Okay, it's behaving as expected. Yeah, I gotta be careful about the spin twirl. So you'll see me do a lot of these where I don't purposely complete the combo or I'll go into a thrust move. So I'm slowly remembering. So Sphere might have some of the same issues as Staff, but it does have more reach in general. So I think I'm still fine. Little reference to Secret of Mana there with the sprite. I don't recall if talking to this character is a bad thing or not to do, so let's save before we do so. We'll be seeing her in a few different quests later. Hello, I'm Diana, and I come from Gato. Did you come to see one of the Seven Wisdoms? Wow, what cute ears! We were meant to be together! Excuse me, I wasn't talking to you. He got burned, chat. Um... I'm not gonna say that I'm coming to see Wisdom. I'm gonna ask where is Gato. I come from the Gato Grottos. Oops, sorry. There's an ancient temple there which is very famous. Okay. Got an ear of wheat. That should be fine. So I believe we gotta go this way. And yeah, that overhead strike is quite something. Oh, what the? Oh, my bad. It was on the other button. I mean, I don't mind doing Lancer. Wanted to test something. There's our back roll. So we can kind of do some strikes and then kind of flip out if we need to. There we go. Hmm. I think what is happening... Sorry, chat. I'm having controller issues. I think what is happening is that the controller is actually losing connection. So that's why I keep getting the AI interfering for me. So I did not know that was a thing. Let's hopefully th see if this works. No, it does not. Oh, seriously? <laughs> I'm now stuck in the menus again. No, I don't want to be here. So sadly, the other controller just needs time to charge. Let's see if this works. Hmm, that's gonna be a problem. I might not be able to stream super long then. I have one controller that's basically dead, and the other one doesn't let me menu. I mean, I don't mind taking some challenge. 
That was a lot of thrust attacks in a row, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kinda happy about that. Master of Special Technique, Mighty Javelin. Anyway, let's go back to Wiggle Runs. This time, Lancer's on purpose. So it is strong enough to basically one-shot, which is nice. Yeah, that little uppercut that we could do is crazy. I love that uppercut. I'm gonna collect the XP manually. We should be good there, hopefully. I hear boss music. Oh no, Chad, it's the bandits. Hey, 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 hand over the cash, 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 cash. Give money, give candy. We're giving him candy. Here you go, enjoy your candy. Rah! Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. These guys are mad for money. I can't stand them. Master, come and thrash this punk. There's Mantis and. As I said before, I think the controller is sadly disconnected mid-combo. It's actually kind of annoying. There we go. See, if you do it right, you can basically infinite with the power attack, which is what I'm looking to do. You know I'm doing it right. I'm actually going to do that to dodge the attack and punish him. I'll take that. <laughs> so it is possible to chain the thrusts, especially if you cancel it with things like jump. Like, see how I did, like, two rapid attacks there? I'm going to see that going forward. Game, please don't do random inputs. This drive would be wild. So we also have to be careful because our AI partners can take XP. And you can see that, uh, yeah, they're they're not really important to level. We, we don't care about them. So I'm going to make sure to grab as much as I can. There are some characters I do want to have level, but this is not one of them. Wonderful. I knew you could do it. Thank you. You really are something else. I'll make you rich. Just a moment. An iron pod, a green bu gumball bun, a taco bug, taco. Normally costing 3,000 lucre, but it could be yours for only 300. What? You don't even have 300. Not even you. Pull out your pockets. You don't have enough. That's all right. This is a special one-time only offer. Green ball bun. Taco bug. Iron pod. Oh yeah, and take this too. Artifact Flame, that's kind of important. Artifact Medallion, nice. What are you frowning at? Smile! Let the world know you're happy. After all, I am a merchant. I'm gonna make my customers happy. I enjoy life, and you should too. Well, adios! Smile! Niccolo's business unusual, the end. We'll be seeing a lot of Niccolo throughout the game. This is not his only business unusual. There we go. Mini story completed. Yeah, so we're going to take a very brief pause. I need to see if I have another controller. Because uh, this one, it just keeps dying on me, literally. <laughs> and it's going to cause me to really mess up inputs later. I'd prefer my movement to not just drop randomly. I did feel it drop a couple times in that boss fight. Which is very sad. But unfortunately, that is the downside of PSO... Not PSO, PS3 controllers. Please don't do that. There we go. So let's go save the event and then give me two minutes to see if I can get the other controller to register. Or else I'm just going to reset the game real quick. So let's make sure to talk to you. Money crazy. Then if I leave, he's going to update the little diary. 
So, so sadly, getting hit by technical problems right in the beginning. So unfortunate. Let's save. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this controller off so it can charge. Actually, it says it has decent charge. Why is it do- maybe just the cord itself is damaged. Give me one second. That should be easier to fix if that's the only issue. Okay. Maybe it'll behave itself now. Let me turn off this other controller. So I think the problem is, like, if the PS3 charger gets unplugged, it'll turn off the controller. So it's literally just, like, moving and, like, starting to combo, and then, like, I would get a random jump, and I'm like, I know I did not press jump. So we should be good now, hopefully. Iron Pawn is our first defensive upgrade. Do not expect me to buy many items in this game at all. They're really not needed. Okay, so now something should happen when I go to leave this house. If things have gone well. Oh no, nope de no Lots of pumpkins took over West Domina. But a real bad mage is up to wipe us out with a harmy army of pumpkins. I can't go on with my jobby job. The little sorcerers. If Chad is curious, if at any point I trigger more than one event at the same time, it will prevent me from potentially updating the diary. So that's what I was saying before. It's very easy to accidentally do stuff that you can't save in the diary. Oh, but I need to go. This is so hairy scary. Bye, Pelican. We'll see you in a couple other quests. So let's go deal with that. And believe it or not, chat, we're coming up to a point where you will be able to name a new character. So think of your best bird names, chat, as we're playing with the bonus file. Normally, we get a rabbite from one of the upcoming quests, which we see in the corner there. But we're going to be getting a special bird for having Final Fantasy VIII. Let's go this way. To Kevin, is that... <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say. I was like, is two Kevin a reference? We'll ignore those two for now. Let's talk to you. My jobby job is to wither, wither mail. But them pumpkins, pumpkins are hairy scary. Yeah, yeah, let's go this way. Let's go deal with the pumpkins. They could call the bird Kevin. <laughs> Bud, stop laughing like that. Lisa, you and I will rule the world as brother and sister. All those pathetic beings will bow before us. Also, he is a massive forehead. Come, let us gloat together. <laughs> rule the world with pumpkins as if. Hey, you, kneel before Bud the Malignant if you know what's good for you. Why not get your pumpkins to do it? Okay, right after we teach the scum a lesson. Jeez, you need to cool off. Well, let's see how hard this is. Oop, there we go. We're gonna dodge that spell. Hmm. I am still getting some stray inputs that I don't want. I don't know what's happening. Weird. I mean, I probably don't want to be near the Kiki Key. Something tells me for my health I don't want to be over there. I 
I did not like that input. All right, so it doesn't want me to do that. Yeah, stop it. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, I'm not attacking there. Oh, that's gonna be very annoying to me if I get random attacks. There we go, I finally got my stun. Like, you hear that? Like, I'm not pressing anything. So I'm not sure why it's doing that. That's very unfortunate if it has some kind of PS3 bug I didn't know about. Because I just did some very basic movement, and combat for the first time I tried it was fun. Yeah, I gotta be real careful with the spear spin here. I almost got the follow-up. Yeah, it's like I'm getting random inputs. What's going on? Super unfortunate. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have to change controllers yet again. I am very surprised that hit me. But anyway, this guy's dead. Or not. <laughs> he supered into super, what a god. Let's get over here. Because the problem is, like, if it does random inputs like that, it's actually messing up my combo completely. I'm trying to do, like, three light attacks into a cancel, but I'm not getting it. There, like, I wanted to do that, but it just kept pressing random buttons. Super unfortunate. Fortunately, I should at least be able to beat this battle regardless, despite the game's best attempts at me not hitting that. Give me one second, chat. Uh, let's confirm if this is a PS3 issue or a controller issue. So sorry about my little brother, bud. This one doesn't charge. Let's try this one. My name's Lisa. That is such a prankster. I'm gonna say, be my apprentice versus sorry here. Wow, how generous. Okay, so hopefully this will resolve those weird issues we were seeing earlier. Little sorcerer is the end. So there are a lot of advanced combat techniques you could do. It does look like Spear can't do all of them because it's got the twirl, unfortunately. But that's fine, we'll play it on a more difficult setting, I suppose. I rem The thrust attacks are very good, don't get me wrong. I like the range on them, I like the uppercut, I like the forward thrust. But a lot of like the simpler combat, especially with sword and axe, involve... Uh, instead of doing like a four hit combo of lights, you purposely cancel in the third hit. Like you do like three lights, brief pause into like another set of three so that it like barely resets or you do a lot of heavy attack cancels scary pumpkins i'm gonna make sure he writes here okay Actually, we already talked to him, so let's see. Super unfortunate. Downside of controllers sitting around for a couple of years. Sometimes they go a little weird. Not very often, but given how old they are in general, sometimes they just do. Okay, so far it seems okay. I'll test out my menu in the town. And then we'll use this controller going forward. So we're gonna go right back to Domina. So I guess we're gonna name the bird Kevin. And this is an event that is also missable in the diaries, because I remember doing this when I first played this game and I got really annoyed. <laughs> so I'm like, let's not make that same mistake. So I must not start any events until this one properly concludes or else I will not get it in the diary, which is what we call a heartbreaker. So we're doing little wiggle run strats there to accelerate our movement. 
So all it is is basically sliding the thumbstick like vaguely in the same direction and it multiplies your input. Oh, actually. There it is. Look, a monster egg. Hmm. Gee, chat, I wonder what bird from Final Fantasy has wings. It could be any of them. Look, a monster egg. That's a bird egg. Ever see wild eggs around here? Quite lucky you are. This is a rare opportunity. Try to catch it. <laughs> What's an egg? It's just a baby right now, but someday it will grow up to be a big monster. Of course, most monsters hate people, so they try to harm us. When a monster raised from youth learns to protect its master. A bird egg? Bird is the type of monster it will become. Can't really tell exactly what monster it will grow up to be. Yes, chat, it could truly be anything. They all look the same. No, no, no they don't. But if you look closely, you can tell what class that the monster it belongs to. Yeah, you kind of, it's kind of obvious. With some practice, you could differentiate between over 10 types of monsters. We'll say we'll try to catch it. Not so fast. Can't just haphazardly walk up to an egg. Oh, I beg to differ. I, If things go well, chat, I'm going to ignore this entire mechanic he'll try to teach us. They're watching you. Go carefully and try to catch them off guard. We'll say carefully. First of all, don't stand in front of it. You only scare the poor thing. When scared, monster eggs run away at incredible speeds. Next, keep your eyes on the egg. That way you'll be able to tell what the egg is thinking. Off guard. Monster eggs are gluttons. They forget everything once they start munching. When they're full, they fall asleep. And they're a lot easier to catch. Try to stay out of the egg's field of vision. They'll think, you, they'll think you've gone away and you can catch them off guard. We'll say I can do it. Try using this. We received a dice berry. Receive bell grapes. Receive citrus squid. I'm going to be honest with you, chat. This is also one of those things. I remember having the guide a long time ago. There are dozens of pages on produce in this game. And generally, it, it it does tell you what each of them raise and lower on a monster. But man, chat, keeping track of what seed types unlock that is something else. Open the food selection with triangle and drop it with X. Yeah, we're not doing that. I'll say it again. You can open the food selection list with the triangle button. Yeah, I'm not planning to do that. Nice try, though. Let's started Monster Corral. So our goal is to basically stay near it and try to predict where it's moving. We want the direction arrows to fade. It'll say dot 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 when we can capture it. Well, I don't like where it's facing. There we go. Aerial egg is you is yours. Deliver Welpy Welp to the corral I go. Goodbye. Relax, Pelican will deliver the egg to the corral. Well, we better head to the corral too. There we go. Nice and simple. Yeah, the game wants you to basically put food there, but it's never required, so I'll never do it. <laughs> it's like the, the easiest way to explain it. I don't, I'll get some food throughout the game, and that is supposed to be the major way to raise your monsters. But yeah, it's otherwise not happening. Here we are, in the backyard of your home. This is the monster corral. We'll have to three monsters graze. Monsters will level up when you leave them grazing here. They'll grow up to become reliable partners for your journey. The monster eggs that you caught are in the barn. So let's go take a look at the barn. This is where you raise the monster eggs you catch. I find a monster egg during an adventure. Capture an egg when you find one. You can have up to five pets. Uh, spoilers chat, we do not want to capture a lot of pets until a certain event triggers, or else we cannot get an event to trigger. So I'm going to try to have no more than one additional pet for a while. You already have five pets and you find another egg. Sell the egg or one of the five pets you already have. Yeah, I do feel like that's kind of a problem with the game. I feel like you should have been able to have way more than five pets. I think there is a total of ten monsters that you can get, but you can only have five at a time. I don't know why they decided that, to be honest with you. Sell the one that you don't really like. Damn. Jennifer at the item shop will buy the eggs from you. She can be a tight wad, but she's the only buyer around. Anyway, eggs hatch in a few days. Monsters become attached to their master and like to follow along. 
They grow more powerful by gaining experience. They can become great adventuring partners. Oh yeah, the monster's growth is affected by diet. Try feeding them different food to see what happens. Monsters will only eat when they gain a level. You must let them graze or take them out for them to eat. Now you know what to do. How the monster grows up is up to you. Well then. Yeah, so we have to be very careful to make sure that they have food. <laughs> so we'll be doing another quest to ensure that we will constantly be able to upgrade the monsters. Look at that, chat. We're already at least three events down. We're making progress. <laughs> They're great partners, but remember, you could sell them at any time. They're expendable. Okay. So we are going to choose not to start any events. I'm going to go ahead and walk back and forth so that the days change. So we can see kind of like in Trials of Mana, the upper right indicates what day it currently is. This should be enough days. Remember, sell your friends for new ones. Exactly. If they're, if they're not cool, give them the boot. They suck. If they didn't want to be sold, maybe they should have been useful. <laughs> right, chat? Alright, so we're gonna make sure to hand in this quest, because again, this is missable. I can talk to these two, and I can have them join me in combat, but I'm pretty much not gonna do that. We're gonna be focusing mostly on events. Pet. We're gonna be focusing mostly on events, and they force you to have characters anyway. So essentially, we have three party slots, kind of similar to Secrets of Mana and Trials of Mana. One will be taken up by a buddy of our choice. I'm gonna leave it ambiguous as to what that means. Followed by a partner, which is usually a story character. Okay. So I did walk around in the overworld for a bit, so we should be good. So yeah, this is a very different order than I think most people will probably play the game. So expect some weird movement from my behalf until I get past a certain point. So it should have hatched by now. Oh, it didn't hatch. Huh. I guess I need a couple more days to pass. here it doesn't teach you oh that's brutal chat that's brutal i forgot about that so it'll teach you what the meat and things do when you put them in a certain box later in the game but we don't have that yet uh well <laughs> right chat well I'm just curious what kind of stats this gives. I'm gonna look it up directly. So basically the produce has like a very set list and that's fine. Okay, so it did confirm that meat is generally not worth using because it goes kind of stat neutral. So that's just what I wanted to confirm here. So let's talk about what each of these do in a second. Let me see if I can pull up a list so I can just read it to Chad. As I said before, there are a lot of things in this game that some are explained, some are not explained. So we'll start with Bell Grapes. Bell Grapes give a plus two to magic, plus one to spirit, and they cause the pet to slowly gain the scheming characteristic. So we don't care about magic, so that item is basically out. Let's take a look at what the Dice Berry does. The Dice Berry gives us plus one to power, plus one to aggression. So I think we want that one. We now have up to three food pieces. Technically, I could give it the magic up if I'm really desperate. And finally, we have a Citrus Squid. Which also improves magic. I mean... I guess early on it doesn't really matter. I guess I could put these in here for now. I can use meat for catching other monsters, I guess, if I really want to. 
But essentially, every time that they level, I need to make sure that they have something in the feed bin. So it's better they get a stat. I probably want them to be aggressive, though. But we'll see. So I believe we could go to the next area, and I'm still not going to place any artifacts. <laughs> Take that game mechanic. <laughs> right, chat? I'm like, listen. Not until I need to. Hmm. So now I'm looking for a very specific building. I don't want to go in there. I think this is what I want. This should be the inn. Indeed, it is the inn. I don't really want to interact with anything here. Let's take a look around. Suddenly, the minerals are mined around here. Okay. So we can't do anything with this yet. But essentially, we'll unlock a crafting system in several quests. So we can make ourselves some pretty strong uh, weapons if we know the system. So buying items is not really needed if you know what you're doing. Oh, free item. Bird meat acquired, sure. I'm looking for a specific character. Here they are. Say, what do you know about the mana tree? Uh, I guess I'll say I know. You don't have to play long. There's no such thing. I know that. What happens to your soul after you die? It disappears. We're gonna say it lives forever since we need this for the quest. I think so too. I've been wounded a hundred times, but no one has ever hurt my soul. Well, we need to introduce her to Twitch chat. I'm sure we can probably crush her soul. Can't believe that something could happen to my soul. You know, I want to meet Gaius. <laughs> go by yourself. <laughs> Get out of here. We'll say let's go. Thank you. I knew you would say that. Let's go. The Wisdom of Gaius. So the reason this quest is important to do kind of early, not even from like an event order standpoint, is that we will be receiving an item which makes leveling really, really easy. And I'll probably be picking it up. So basically what it means is that if I want to, I can easily split XP by wearing an accessory. I, think, I believe it's called the Forbidden Ring. So getting that early is kind of nice. I don't need it right this moment. It'll help when we go to use our pet a little more. So by the time we return back to our main building, the pet should be usable. And then, believe it or not, we're not we're not going to place an artifact yet. Oh, I love this thing. If we touch this, it'll teleport us somewhere. I'd prefer not to have that happen, though. This controller seems to be behaving a little more. Okay, we got back roll. Perfect. Perfect. To so jump and retreat out of the way. Let's see. What should we learn next? I guess I'll go for the classic crouch jump. Oh, it says minor damage. I don't even know if I want to learn this ability. I'll showcase it, but minor damage is usually not worth using. Crouch is a really interesting ability because it lets you heal. As you might have noticed, I don't really have the ability to use items mid battle. So my HP is whatever it is. If I stay away from enemies or if I get close to a partner, it'll improve how much my healing is. So just being with my monster buddy will heal me up. Sure, let's use our ability here just to showcase it. <sighs> See, like it just barely didn't kill. That's so sad. 
There was a small uh, XP crystal I missed there, sadly. Fortunately, combat goes pretty quickly. We have to go lower path here. So we saw her here last time. Oh, there we go. Did you see that combo? You're not normally allowed to do that for clarity. That's how you know I'm canceling. <laughs> like normally, chat, I'm just going to do it again so you can see it. Like, look at the pause between the normal attacks. Like, that's a heavy thrust. Do you see how long I'm waiting? Like, that's painful. So what you can do is you can purposely unassign a button, which uh, I've left L1 there. And if I time... Well, not time. If I press it after I do an attack, and then I do a different thrust command, I could basically chain thrust moves. It is very, very unfair if you get used to it. But we're still warming up to the game, so apologies for the stiffness of it. Ah, uh, so Lancer can't multi-target, sadly. And you can see, like, I'm basically chaining heavy strikes. <laughs> it's... it's something, chat. You could very much break this game if you know about a little tips and tricks like that. I'm not even doing it as optimally as we possibly can. Ooh, is it right or... Might be this way. I'm looking for a giant mountain. So you can see I'm like, I'm just kind of instantly attacking. But if I do it wrong, I just falls awkwardly. Yeah, there we go. She's a nice little unique skill there. Use Mighty Javelin, I guess. Might be more useful if we have like five enemies to fight or something. Right now, it's not that useful. So, because we have jump, jump is also a really great way to cancel as well. So, if we don't want to have an empty skill slot, we can use jump in place of that. There we go. I did it without the walkthrough. I did a chat. Welcome, my children. Come closer. Look at that animated mouth. I don't know why they gave him human eyes. That always bothered me. I'll say yes. Hello there. What can I do for you? My friend is about to die from a demon's curse. What can I do to help her? Do what your friend wants you to do. She doesn't ask me to do anything for her. She's just going to accept what is going to happen. Then you must accept that. Do you understand what that person said to you? No, I didn't. She was so strong-willed. A demon weakened her, both in body and in spirit. Everlasting story feel on this dude a little bit. I only want to help her regain her former self. People have the power to change themselves. That is what she is trying to teach you. Listen to her words. She dot dot dots him. Thank you. I will try to think about this calmly. By the way, Trey, there should be an ancient tree around your house. He will help you with many things. Come again, my children. Down we go. Oops, I talked. I didn't mean to talk to him. No, I don't want to come closer. Go away. Oh, you're speaking even though you said nothing. Ah. This should trigger a little cutscene. Well, thank you so much. I feel a lot better now. Please, take this. Forbidden ring. I wish she just... She just disappeared from existence there. So there we go. We got the forbidden ring. Is that the rock fighter? Something like that, Dango. We met Gaius, one of the seven sages, I think they called them. So we're going to be very careful going back to our house. Because I can skip that event. 
<laughs> on the diary. But hopefully going back and forth enough should be good enough. I'll promise not to complain about it too much, but it is it is very important to stress how easy it is. So if I were to go from here, chat, to the bottom left, which is where the tree is that was just mentioned, I would lose that diary entry forever. That's how easy it is. <laughs> There's also triggers after doing X number of events that cause, uh... Big face that cause little cactus to become unavailable. So we're gonna have to be very careful with it. I'll do my best. So far we're doing fine. But I think we'll be able to bring our bird into combat for the first time. Now we did manage to pick up a couple of seeds on the highway, which is kind of nice. I'll think about if I want to swap out a spear for anything. Right now I'm gonna keep it. If we do get, like, a strong weapon, I will use whatever it is, just for chat clarity. So right now I don't mind using the basic spear, but at this point it'll be... If I get a sword or a hammer or an axe, I'll swap into it. Yeah, sword is pretty OP. I, I think I like flail a little more than dagger. Hopefully we can get our buddy now. There we go. The aerial egg hatched. Name monster. The Leaf Chat wanted to name it Kevin. <laughs> Could you imagine actually calling it that? Oh, you can generate a name. What happens if you generate the name? It becomes Chocobo. That makes sense. I mean, it could be anything, Chad. Anyway, the bird is going to be named Kevin as per request. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> um, let's take him. He's got 40 HP, that's not bad. There we go, menus are working now. That's a good sign. So, weirdly it doesn't tell you what this does for some reason. Yeah, this shares XP. I do feel like if they ever, like, properly remade this game, they need to vastly overhaul what some of these items do by default. Like, you'll know what that does the moment you get into combat, but when you're just looking at a wall of items, you won't know what it does. Definitely this, the game's biggest weak point. So let's come down to the tree, but there's gonna be something stopping us. It needs some weeding, chat. The Manda Orchards. Go attack Kevin. Let's see if I can time this properly. Is it like... There we go. Oh, that's such a good combo. Yeah, so now we're abusing the range of the spear quite heavily. Uh-oh, Kevin's getting bodied. No, Kevin, no! He did say that randomly. I don't know why. The multi-kill. Did you see the range on that spear? That actually made no sense. So you can see here, chat. We gave Kevin some experience. But it's weeding time, chat. <laughs> the tree very suddenly grew. Oh. We feel it. The mana energy. It is flowing into me. Is it you who brought me the blessing of mana? Thank you. Thank you, young one. Hi, giant creepy face. We'll speak to him. We plants take in the mana energy of Fadia to make air. Plants circulate the flow of mana. We pour mana energy into seeds so they could grow. <laughs> nope, from Dango. If you have any seeds, let me take them. See so, ya. Yeah, in a few days, I should bear their fruit. Don't give nothing to the fun fruit tree. I think we need to, though. Let's give them some seeds. Alright, so... For now, I don't think it matters which one we give. At some point, I'm gonna do double long. We'll do two small seeds as the combo. These are good seeds. 
Come back in a few days for the fruits. <laughs> Someone buried Pinocchio, maybe. Uh, let's do double long here. I think we can have up to three sets at the same time. I'm still full. Unable to give them enough mana. Okay. So anyway, we have to come back here. This is how you feed the monster. So we gotta interact with this thing fairly often. Which I'm sure chat just loves. I can tell already. They love the giant tree. So we're gonna go back and immediately save our event. <laughs> Quote the walkthrough. This event is missable. Huh? Oh, do I have to... Oh, I have to make it go further. My bad. We didn't see the event end screen, that's right. I love the Chocobo teleporting sometimes. It's amazing. Okay. So we're gonna go here, then we're gonna go here. We're gonna go back home. It's the power of Kevin, I think so. So, yeah, we're, so the characters we ignored in the other area lead to a series of tougher dungeons. We're basically taking the easy route right now. Which I'm okay with. Oh, there's Cherry Bomb. I love Cherry Bomb. Oh, what was the other thing called? Like... Like... Carigato, because it's like a carrot, or is it? It's definitely it's something like arigato for sure. Bring me your seeds, and I will bear them for you. Well, anyway, fade to black. Mana orchards, the end. So rudely, we got interrupted. So we're just gonna go right back. <laughs> right now, we're like it's cool and all. We completed the event, but dot dot dot. Remember Cherry Bombs being decent? I want to say it's like HP and uh, damage, but let's double check. Oh, excuse me, it's Apricot. You got me. I'm trying to remember the name of it. I'm like, I know it was the cat pun. The other one might just be Spiky Carrot. I don't think it has any funny names. Or Spiny Carrot, maybe. Yeah. Is it like Loquat Shoe or something? Yeah, Loquat Shoes. So the others haven't upgraded yet. Bumpkin, I remember being one of the best things you could possibly give to pets. If I'm recalling correctly. It gives plus one to power, plus one to spirit, and a whole bunch of pet personalities, which are kind of nice. Loquat shoes give minus one HP, but charm and skill. I definitely don't want to feed them that. Spiny carrot gives minus skill, but plus magic and spirit. A lot of magic boosters. Cherry bomb is just HP and friendly. Which is fine. So we're gonna go hand in the event, and then we're gonna trigger yet another event. I love the pet just like... There we go. Teleporting all over the place. So controller issues resolved. Possibly the thing at the beginning was also a controller issue. Not entirely sure, but this one's working fine. So now it's just now it's just me playing bad if I don't combo. <laughs> so let's go save. Because I I want to save every event that we do. Uh now I gotta remember which one is the one that is worth getting. Is it Apple Socks? No. Basically, I only really care about HP and damage. I don't super care about the other ones. As long as we're constantly getting 
plus stats it's fine oh rhino lobe that was the one i was trying to think of because that one gives hp power and spirit but you lose magic but i don't really care about magic most of the time so it's just kind of a free minus stat that i don't care about but yeah essentially we're going to be getting a whole bunch of seed types over time i'm just gonna grow the produce and then we'll proceed with the next quest So we'll just go like here to here. Hopefully this will be enough days that have passed. So the game kind of wants you to take your time. We're going to be mostly ignoring that. <laughs> There's Bumpkin. Nice, nice, nice. Honey Onion is there. Actually, it is interesting. Didn't it tell me the start button from the other area? It's definitely square, by the way, that does menu. I just like I'd just like to point that out like when he was like hit start to get yourself situated I definitely could why are there two menu buttons in this game I never really thought about that until just now I'm like wait a minute I mean I I'm okay with having more than one way to access it I just didn't really think about that until just now so I'm gonna check what orca plant does orca plant gives magic skill minus to friendly up in scheming I don't think I care about that the downside is I don't know the damage formulas for the pets, other than I don't think Chocobo is a magical pet. I don't think it learns like Red Meteor, <laughs> like it doesn't like tactics. So I believe we are free to continue. We'll bring our Chocobo buddy with us. So if you recall, there were several people that I was ignoring in the main town. It's now time to interact with them. So we saw a juggler and somebody playing a... I want to say it's a gramophone. I guess it really just depends on what it is built into. Kind of reminds me of a small music box, too. I don't remember if he's hand-cranking it or if it's like a record. I guess we'll see in a moment. I guess he's cranking it more. He is the instrument. So let's talk to you. Hey, watch this! My name's Capella, Wondering Juggler. Oh. Yeah. Fine. So we've now start- we've technically started an event, so we'll go further. We'll denote that we don't see Capella anywhere. Oh no no. I don't think we know this character's name yet. I believe the might be Diddle. I think I think that character's name is called Diddle. So anyway, we don't see him here, and most importantly, we don't see the Pelican here. Let's proceed back to here. Capella's the juggler. Did you see Diddle? He always does this to me. My juggler won't be the same without his tune. Gotta go look for him. Guess I'll go ask someone. So he's gonna go wander off now. Yeah, that's quite a character name. Let's talk to you. I saw a bird carry something into the air. You wanna know about the bird? Ask the bird. There we go. Oh, I get it. You suspect me because a Sproutling told you that a bird took your friend. Well, we're not suspecting you to be the kidnapper, but... Well, perhaps this will convince you. I can't fly. Oh yeah, forgot that you're a chicken. I am not a chicken. I'm a canary. Are you serious? 
do you mean, are you serious? My bad. Although I did see Diddle buy a stamp a while ago. Perhaps the Pelican has taken your friend. That makes sense. I'll buy a stamp to get the Pelican's attention. Well, see ya! To where could little Diddle have disappeared? Search for clues where you last saw him. That is a very unfortunate name. It's like Fubar from Suikoden 3 all over again. <laughs> Let's continue this way. So now, the pelican, which we saw earlier, should be back in just a moment. Where did Diddle go? Since he's kind of clumsy, maybe. Maybe he stuck a stamp on his face. He was taken by the pelican. Just like this. Undelivered mail! Undelivered mail! Huh? Snatched. Ah, let me go! I'm not mail. Please, don't interrupt my work. Let me go! And away he goes. Now we've officially started Diddle's letter. Even though we were there for a while. So I believe I have to just leave town and come back. Actually, now that I think about it, I think the pelican's a woman. I think that gets established later. I always forget. It's been a long time since I played. Go this way. So we're basically just getting done everything that doesn't involve another artifact. And then once we actually need to go back with the artifacts, we're going to start placing them. So we're, we're doing the methodology, I guess, with this walkthrough of do as much as you can without placing more on the board. Otherwise, events might get a little weird. Okay, so now that we've left to the overworld and we're coming back, the pelican should be back to speak to. Wiggle run is so nice. Saves a little bit of time. That letter is a mistake. Whoopsity take. Take that letter to the highway right away. Wiggle wiggle. <laughs> what misinput in the world map is all over. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I'm definitely scared to place artifacts. That fear has been instilled in me. Just one, one misplacement, reset right on the spot, GG. And there's times I also want to avoid going back to the house, which makes it complicated. So the house will trigger several events. We have not completed anywhere near as many as we have in that house. But for now, let's go back to the highway. So let's bring our little bird buddy with us. So yeah, the, dip the only real major difference between this and the Steam version, for those that do want to play it, the Steam version lets you skip combat completely, which is sometimes useful. I think the first time you play through, as long as you are forced to fight things, you're generally the right level the whole time. The only time it gets kind of annoying is that there are some kind of maze-like areas, and if you have to backtrack because you don't know where to go. Did that really stun me? That sucks. It can end up just wasting a lot of time. <laughs> you are not supposed to chain them like this, by the way. Again, reminder, that's how long the delay is normally. Oh, I missed some XP. Learned high jump. Nice. So let's see. High jump. Where do we want to go with high jump? Do I go for moonsault first? Or do I want to just go towards flip kick? Hmm. I believe back roll... Plus high jump should be like the reverse moon soul. Again, I, I remember obsessing over this, so from for the most part, I don't need to look this up because it was like I'm like I'm gonna find what combo does something. 
So having played through it a couple of times a long time ago, I remember most of the combos. So let's combine these just so chat sees them. A nice little backflip now. So anyway, I'm going to be abusing some power attacks here. Or bird buddy level. Nice. Alright, since our bird buddy is leveled, let's take off the forbidden ring. Sorry, bird buddy. I'm, I'm taking all the XP. The nice thing is it's just free XP duplication. It's not like I split it between us. It literally just doubles the XP. It's kind of insane. I'm, I don't know why it's like that, but it's really good. I just don't feel like leveling bird buddy without food. I gotta go this way. Oops. Not yet. You can hear the cancel sound. That's me using the uh, unassigned skill to combo these. Because again, you're not normally supposed to be able to chain them like this. But it's fun. I love combat. It's so satisfying. We're getting a lot of seats from fighting the plants, which is good. He's mighty javelin to speed this up a little. So fortunately, they are weak enough that the minor damage is useful. Double jump mastered. Master a new technique, Furious Copter. Why did I get double jump? Wait, you can learn double jump from back roll high jump? I did not know that. I always thought it was high jump jump. Well, chat, I'm learning new things all the time. <laughs> I didn't realize that was a real thing that we could do. I don't really like Lancer. Can we get something better? Hits all enemies minor damage. Maybe this is more consistent. I don't like the minor damage though. Wiggle wiggle. There we go. Hey, there's a letter. It's a letter Diddle wrote. Nobody's watching. It's not yours. Go ahead, just watch him. Damn. Um. I think we have to tell him to read it. Hey, where did you get here? Anyway, this might be our only clue. Watch out coming through this dango, pretty much. Let's read it. Dear mother and father, I'm doing well here. Okay, that's normal. What else did he write here? I'm doing shows with Capella, but it's not going well. Damn. <laughs> right, chat? Damn. Only butterflies and takeo bugs watch our shows. Big oof, chat. I am tired of it, so I would like to go home. Man, I can't believe this. Oof. Friendship over, chat. Friendship over. Oh, I just love chaining the heavy attacks. I wonder if I could do that normally without the cancel. I'm gonna test one thing. Kind of? There's like a l yeah, I can't chain it as quickly. Like that is so much faster. Holy. Spirit, please. Look at this. You're getting abused. I'm comboing like this is a real combo button. Yeah, remember the ro the Choco Robins or Choco Hoods give a ton of XP. Let's see what this does. It allegedly hits all- oh, that's the wrong one. I was gonna say it allegedly hits all enemies. That's not the right one though. I kind of like the cancels in this game. They're not intended, but I would like to see a modded game where cancels are intended. I do like that concept of like doing like extra things. So I'm not just like button mashing. I am like trying to time the press in between. I got lost. Diddle. 
stop running off on your own. Let's go back. Here. Isn't this your letter? You put a stamp on your head and got delivered or something, right? Wow, Capella. That is what really happened. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Capella, you didn't open and read my letter, did you? Of course I didn't. I wouldn't do that kind of thing. Well, child, we're gonna tattle on him super hardcore. Really? He read it. Take that, friendship. You are a liar, Capella. I'm sorry, Diddle. I really didn't mean to. I love how we told him to read the letter and then we just told on him. We are the worst. <laughs> I like that that's like the best outcome for the story, but like we as, we as people interacting with that story are the absolute worst. <laughs> I just find that so funny. <laughs> like, go read it. Yeah, he read it. <laughs> We're such jerks. Game of Open Hoods. Um... Upper left, I think. Ooh, that super jump that I got there. I love that. Look at that. We're going to heaven with the jumps. Oh, does that do damage on the flip? I didn't know that. You know, I could cancel the jump attack. Which I kind of like. So I could just kind of repeatedly do jump attacks if I want to. Disapproving people with the consequences of their actions, something like that. Oh, that's so fun to loot. This is so much XP. These, those enemies like power level you. It's kind of insane. Black and bat. Needle. I don't see anything too crazy here. Oh, the wiggle run. There we go. Intense wiggle running. Sorry, Chocobo. I'm not sharing boss XP. Take these items, though. Angry Eye. There's There are a lot of tables online. So, unfortunately, this game does suffer from... The crafting is really obtuse. Like, the food, you could generally figure out what it does based off its color. And it's not too bad, but the crafting is kind of insane. Okay, this should be the other one. Let's see Furious Copter, Chad. Wow, that killed nobody. Oh, <laughs> I got a little too fancy with my flips there. Oh, can I not do the cancel with that? Maybe I can't. That's unfortunate. Maybe I could do, like... Kind of? Morph me. Don't care about that. Man, I lost him. And there's a monster over there. What am I supposed to do now? Uh... Oh, interesting. So the Chocobo's effect is if we get close, I just lose all status abnormalities. That's actually pretty powerful early on. So he's got 10 damage. So he's about as strong as us, technically. I was looking at that correctly. Yeah. So he hits about as strong as, as hard as we do. The difference is that I'm looping power attacks. He will not do that. Alternate boss music. It's like the chest. Grave Dirt. Hello, Gigarex. <laughs> I was doing some big damage there. We're gonna pop this. There we go. Get some healing in. Ooh, he's getting very aggressive against me. This is actually kind of scary. Save me, Spear. Leave my buddy alone. Oh, 
So I gotta be real careful here. Buddy's almost dead. My hold still regen, regen some health. He did like 50% of my health. Our buddy's almost dead. So I'm just kind of playing keep away at the moment. Oh, buddy died. So he'll eventually revive. So if I play max distance here, I should be fine. You can hear me canceling. Yeah, there we go. Poke. So I gotta be careful, because every time he's not stunned, I'm in trouble. Max distance game. Leave me alone. Ooh, got a little too close. Okay, there we go. I stalled. Technically, we don't game over if we die. We only game over if our party dies. But generally, if we die, our party is basically hosed. He went to sleep for real. Did he dodge that by jumping? What a beast. There we go. Finally, we learned backflip. Nice. That boss fight could be kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. So hopefully we'll find a weapon upgrade at some point. Hey, how was it? Did you find Diddle? Oh. What are you doing in a place like this, Capella? What? I was looking for you! Where were you? Um... I don't know. Oh yeah. I was looking for you, Capella. Um... You were looking for me? Uh-huh. I wanted to say I'm sorry. Because I am always mad about something. Oh, come on, Diddle. You're always mad? Look at me! I was looking for you, so we could be friends again. Well, you sure do have your own tempo, but I'm not gonna be friends again with you. What? Why? Juggling balls. Now for the... the dun-dun-dun. Because we're already friends. Case closed. Come on, let's go. Wait for me. Oh, wait a minute. Here you go. Gator skin. Um, uh, Do I need that for something later? I might. I'm gonna hold on to that for now. The skins are useful for instruments and a couple other things. Diddle's letter, the end. So I guess we'll go see if we can get more food. But believe it or not, chat, we're finally going to place another artifact. We did it, chat. Round of applause. <laughs> I think I cleared every possible event I could do at this point. Because the other ones will force me to place an event. Let's go home. It is kind of funny that I'm ignoring... Uh... What's his name? Elazel? Poor Elazel, whatever your name was. We didn't even learn about Pearl yet. Don't you body block me. I'm, I'm gonna save that event and there's nothing you could do to stop me. Welcome home. Yeah, we're gonna save for sure. Okay, so let's get food for our buddy. Our buddy is a good face tank. Like, he doesn't have a lot of HP yet. But man, does he let me chain power moves like a monster. So at this moment, we really just need a strong weapon to begin one-shotting. So I've almost mastered the cancel, despite having not played this in a long time. You saw, I think I got like six in a row uppercuts chat with like no pause. That is really powerful to get. Now sadly, the lance does have kind of, it's got a good reach, but it's kind of risky to do the thrust attack as is, sadly. You can technically do some light attacks into heavies, but for the most part, it's not worth doing because heavy attacks are kind of delayed. Oh, I never gave him seeds. That was silly of me. I should have done that earlier. 
Uh, let's give him double long seed. So that way we're setting up for the future. Then we'll give him double small. So it's kind of like a percent chance of a certain fruit growing. Oh. I only gave him four. That's interesting. So potentially we have to come back here pretty often. I figure at least for a little while I'll try to feed the pet. I'm going to see if I can get exact stats on the other ones. Meets... Legend of Mana. Because I want to know if any of them are at least like substitutes. Because I don't think I super care about magic down. Oh well. It's not a big deal either way. Yeah, this is another system that I think they, they really should have been able to do. I should have been able to stockpile, like, a bunch of food. Which is kind of weird to me that it's like, you have to come back here every level up. Which is kind of unfortunate. I think Cherry Bombs is good. Give it Bumpkin. And then I don't think we talked about what Honey Onion was. So Honey Onion gives... Minus power? Yeah, we're not doing that. Is Apricot any good, or is it magic? Well, oh, it's defense. That's fine, we'll take defense. So yeah, definitely an oversight. You should have been able to place multiples here. So there's things where like I like a lot of the concepts, but I don't like how they executed some of the side things. So for people obsessing over perfect stats, it is way more annoying than it should be to do. But oh well. Such is life. Okay, so we're finally going to play something. We're going to place another town. We're going to triple check its location out of fear. Let's see, this was one, this was two, this was three. So this should leave number four, which will be the Gato Grottos, which we heard mentioned earlier. So we've created another town. Might be worth purchasing an item here. Maybe. Money's only purpose is this, pretty much. So let's go there. Hmm. I think I gotta go up here. Ah, indeed. The Flame of Hope has started. Excuse me, but are you feeling alright? My tummy hurts! Oh, could you help me take care of him? Thanks. How am I tummy? Come on, try to walk to that shop over there. Oh, no, I can't. Someone help me. I wonder if he's all right. Well, you told me this is a shop, right? Let's take a look. Ah, interesting. Not this one. This too. No sparkle to it. Excuse me, are you looking for gems? I'm gonna say yes. I'm sorry, I cannot sell you this stone. Not any sparkle to it, a stone is useless. Hmm. That's gonna play an important note for later. So we'll acknowledge that we saw somebody in the shop looking for stones. But for now, we'll save. Hello, shopkeeper. Do you have anything that's useful for me? Ooh. Alright, so I'll try to stick to what chat wants if I'm given a choice. So we'll go spear here. Welcome, Tom Burger San. Exclamation mark adds sparkle? What is that? Oh, you mean she's looking for sparkle. 
Hopefully you're doing well. I'm selling the minerals I've mined around here. Yeah, sadly, we can't do anything with any of these yet, but here's the other merchant. Let us pray to the spirits of wind and fire that the people of the world may live in peace. Uh, I think I'm doing okay. Ah, uh, you're the character I want to speak to. I'm Rubens, a firekeeper for this town. Let me ask you something. You're a thief is after the temple's flame. Did you see anyone suspicious on your way here? I guess I could say a Sproutling. I don't think it really matters. Sproutling? No, he's probably not involved. I guess it was just a rumor. The inspector exaggerates everything. Hmm. Let's go, let's go this way. Do the little wiggle run to speed up. It's like arm pumping in <laughs> SNES. Uh, Super Metroid. My tummy hurts. Please help me. Let me see. Oh, it's a popo -po bug. It could cure almost anything. Help me. Just wait. That bug is the ultimate medicine. Let's just remove it. You're gonna help me? I'm going to peel away a leaf to take out the popo. No! Oh, what a waste. Popo bugs are so expensive. I think Mr. Rubens needed that medicine too. Hmm. Mr. Rubin comes here too. So nice up here. Oops. Where's the- I was gonna say, I went in the exit, but it didn't let me exit. What do you want to ask me about? Let's ask him about each of the topics. My job is to keep the torches burning at the temple. The temple's to your left. Let's ask about the Sproutling. The Sproutling was acting strange. I think he went to the temple. And yeah, we're after the Sproutling, so we'll see him soon. Let's ask about the inspector. He's a mouse man with a pipe and a really loud voice. Keeps pestering me to be careful all the time. Uh-oh. What is that? Some kind of calling card. That is quite a temple, right, chat? <laughs> Ah, yes, a safe little journey to the temple above the abyss. I feel safe here, chat. Temple of Healing. Stop it. My tummy hurts. Please do something about the popo bug. Calm your soul, and all worldly pains will vanish. But it hurts! You must meditate. Everything is in your mind. Somebody help me! Speak to her briefly. Please do not interrupt me. I am praying. Oh. I don't think I've ever been in the hallway before. I might as well look around. Mine now. Required moss. What a treasure chat. To live is to live! Watching her made me reach some sort of enlightenment. I am in spiritual training here to reach enlightenment. The path is a long and tough one. But I think I see it coming. But I must not stop here. I will keep training for it. Thank you, Nate. Hope you're doing well. This is the dream weaving room. It's the room of my old friend, Matilda. She's the priestess of this temple. I am so happy I didn't accidentally start an event there. I would have been so sad. But it's good to know she's here. Let's get the treasure chest. Aroma oil acquired. All the old-timers here say the same thing to us. Nuns back in the day used to be more proper. Since our new priestess is not so strong-willed, unqualified people seem to have joined our covenant. I just needed to get that off my chest. Oof. It's 
So for now, let's go backwards. I believe I gotta go this way. So we gotta go back to where Rubens hangs out, I believe. Yes. I love the cutscene slowly panning over. My tummy hurts. Help me, but don't tear off my leaves. All right, my dear, come over here. I will help you. Okay. Here, Mr. Rubens. Yes. Wow! Go ahead, Mr. Rubens. No, wait. Well, don't you want to revive your petrified sweetheart? Yes, but... Oh, you meanie! See? Now he got away. I don't want to hurt anyone. Then you can't protect anyone. You're too soft. Dot, dot, dot. Life is like this town. Cutting through rocks to make pathways. Hmm. We can't get to the top without a flame of hope in our hearts. Oh, she title dropped the event. Don't you think so? Let's talk to Rubens. He dot, dot, dots. Let's talk to the nun. Only those strong enough survive. It's nature's way. Come on, wiggle run, wiggle run. Save the frames. There we go. That was a good wiggle run. Uh-oh. Dot, dot, dot from the nun. You know what? I'm trying to figure out how to voice this character. So he's a mouse. He's loud. He looks old, but he's also like, I think like squeaky with mice, not like deep voice. What do you think, chat? How do you think this inspector would sound? I could technically dogify him. I guess it wouldn't be the most off the offset voice. Dogi is quite loud, and he is a detective. Oh! Aha! A crime! The victim is... a nun! She has no external wounds! Hey you, don't touch the body! I... I'm still alive. Oh, my apologies! What seems to be the problem? I twisted my ankle when this Sproutling bumped into me. So, she disguised herself as a Sproutling. What could she want? Chocobo casually uh, photobombing the cutscene. We're supposed to see the detective, but instead we just see Kevin. Kevin just chilling, no blinks, staring off into the distance. Blast it, Sandra. Ugh. Hmm. Let's go this way. Let's continue to go this way. The plot thickens, chat. What is it? I think I will get the popo bug from that sproutling. Well, go ahead. I'm not gonna do it. How callous. So you don't care one way or another about your love in Geo. How is it you know where she is? Good question. Don't mock me. Well, if you don't want it, can I take the popo bug? I love how mad the chocobo looks. We got him like mid blink and he just like, like scowling or something. We'll see you next time I close the chat box. Fine by me. You don't care whether it affects your girlfriend or the Sproutling, do you? Look, I don't want to interfere in anyone's life. And I don't want anyone interfering in mine. Just leave me alone. 
Never. Stones who lose their sparkle shall be punished! Ugh! How dare you! Come any closer and I'll kill him. Do as I say and I won't harm your core. What do you want? I want to see some tears. Cry like a child and beg for your life. Well, where are your tears? But I, I can't. That's just too bad. Goodbye, Ruby Knight. Still alive, eh? Jumi of the Lucidia are indeed formidable. As I warned you, I'm taking the Flame of Hope. I won't be caught so easily. See you around. Damn, she she perfected the teleport. Also, I love <laughs> the Chocobo yet again blocking the poor mouse inspector. Instead, we just see angry Chocobo near the, <laughs> the screen. That's quite something. Oh no! I was too late! Blast it! So it was you! Give yourself up, Sandra, and take off that weird hat! No, it was... a nun. Sandra is a master of disguise, but I will catch her! Ugh... Diana, I wish I could see you again. I'm sorry. Well, Rip Rubin's chat, he had a he had a violent death. Presumably stabbed slash punched and then the core was taken. So we don't know what relevance the core has since that hasn't been explained to us yet in the universe. But we'll come to know more about these cores going forward. The temple received a note from Sandra, the jewel hunter. They said that she will steal the flame of hope. I thought she meant the sacred torches, but she was after Mr. Rubin's core. If only I'd known that Mr. Rubens was a Jumi. Jummy? I don't know how it's said. We must Cassandra, no matter what. I'll need your help. Will you cooperate? I love that I can say nope. I should say sure thing here, though, if I want to get the quest clear. Oh, thank you. Something tells me Sandra's still around this area. I'll search the temple in the village. You go check the outskirts. Let's go. I'll talk to him one more time. You're going to check the outskirts of the town. Do a little wiggle run action here. Ooh, wiggle, wiggle run on the zigzag route is kind of difficult, I'm not gonna lie. Uh... Yeah, they're known for the temple healing. Oh, we can actually go in that door, never mind. <sighs> They're in my way. So now we gotta go to the outskirts, which involves basically slowly going towards the left. So we could see based off of these sapling leaves, leave once you're finished. We're basically told where to go. But funny enough, I don't technically have to follow them. Ah, uh, Shadow Zero. So if I pause the game, I can actually see their names. And I can see by pressing the buttons, I can see what I have assigned, which is kind of useful. Also, I think I forgot to get rid of back roll. We'll do that next time. That star attack is quite annoying. I think it drains my special meter. Fun, Kevin, you could do it. Oh, Kevin was going in. He missed, though. 
Kevin meant well. So they're, they're giving, so for every XP crystal, we're getting three XP. So we're getting a definitely a much tougher area overall. So anyway, we got back roll plus high jump. So now we unlock double jump for some reason, which I guess it is more than one way to unlock. And we now have backflip. So we should try learning a new ability. So I think, believe if I backflip and back roll, I'll get one of the better abilities in the game. I'm gonna leave my L1 unassigned for now. Just because I want to do the rapid cancels with them. Which again, that is definitely not an intended mechanic, but it makes the combat a lot more fun. Ooh, choices. I guess I go down here. These things are called Rattler Boas. Yeah, here we go. So I have this, which will basically let me do damage. So I could kind of combo. The intended way is to kind of throw one of these out and then cancel the, the somewhat unsafe animation into another one of those, which is kind of interesting. Hmm. So the leaves go up here. I love our running animation where my foot is just there because I keep wiggling and the game doesn't quite know how to interpret what I'm doing. I think this is the right way? I hope this is the right way. I also feel very sad. Nice kill. So we have leaves over there. We have Woodling here. It's kind of like I'm alternating the button for it. I already unlocked Flip Kick, really? Wow, that took like zero times to get. Yeah, Flip Kick is very, very powerful. I guess we'll go for... Now that we unlock that, I'll do defend plus push. This gives you the grapple ability. I Before I learned about the cancels when I first played, I did like using grapple, potentially mid combo, as a combo ender. But I don't think it's super necessary for Lance. Okay, we did have to go this way. We just we just can't, we just have to casually murder a whole bunch of things to make progress. Don't mind me. I can get rid of the pain you feel. Really? Yes. Wow! Oh, more company. Now I have you, Sandra! You're gonna pay for what you've done! No one will ever catch me. Ta-ta, everyone! Blast it, the Cancun bird! Ow! Ouch! Oh wow, my tummy doesn't hurt anymore! Yay, I'm okay now! Oh, shut up! This is no time to celebrate! Oh! Another Jumi was murdered! This is horrible! Well, I appreciate your help anyway. Please, take this. AF, ancient tablet acquired. AF, torch of coral acquired. Sandra, I will catch you one of these days. Well, we just witnessed a... 
a character get murdered. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that coming in a mana game. That would kind of came out of nowhere. The Flame of Hope has been extinguished as he is dead. GG chat. So we're gonna go back. We're gonna we're gonna write the event in. We're gonna keep going. I think we're we're making a good progress. I believe it is time to check on Niccolo before you do anything else. Yeah, the reason I'm not placing the artifacts as a reminder for people that might have missed it earlier, uh I am purposely trying not to have certain events occur until I'm ready for them. So if I place too many events down, uh that can lead to some bad things happening when I'm wanting to record the events. It doesn't matter for the most part, but when it matters, it matters a lot, sadly. Popo bugs are friends. So certain quests can only start if they if they have like uh, certain artifacts down, and some only start if you go in those places. This is, for the ones where you go in the places and it starts it, it doesn't matter as much. I'm more worried about what happens if we do a certain number of quests. So yeah, we're playing in a very unconventional way to make sure we get as many as possible. Normally by this time, I think I would have what would be considered the Luminous Caverns, I think it was called. Which I believe is a reference to Trials of Mana, because you also fight a uh, full metal hugger there. Yeah, we don't need to worry about that this playthrough. I doubt the food has grown, but we might as well just check it. Oh, is it like Peach Puppy? Oh, what was that? Or what was it called? I can definitely see it's supposed to be a dog. So we're getting some nice things here. So now, if we go back to the grottos that we placed, we should be able to get another quest with a very familiar character. We haven't met too many people so far in the game, but this character should be rather memorable. So we're going to go back to that item shop we were at before. We should notice a lack of a character there, if I recall correctly. Indeed. Hmm. That jewel collector that was interested in the shine of things is no longer here. I wonder if that's relevant, Wink. Anyway, let's talk to you. Oh, hello. I'm here to gather green balls. You roll them up and, and steam them to make a delicious snack. The green balls in Gato eat the droppings of the Cancun bird. So they grow up nice and juicy. But I have to get through the dungeon to get to them. Would you like to go gather green balls with me? I'll say yes. Green balls are best when they're fresh. Niccolo's Business Unusual Part 2. I'm not gonna lie, for his quest, the first time I played, I never went into the store. <laughs> and I didn't continue his plot thread until like literally the end of the game and I was like, oops. I think I was supposed to come here much sooner. So yeah, it's very easy to miss events. There's only a handful of mandatory events. I could go to the dungeon or to the waterfall directly. I guess I should just go straight to the waterfall, because I don't have to go through the dungeon again. So that's nice that the game gives you a little shortcut at least. So even though you can't escape encounters, at least there's some ways to skip them. Here we are. So he's just going to be gathering stuff. So we gotta wait for a little bit of time to pass. Have a nice little drink. Hold on a minute, I'm collecting them now. I love him basically teleporting everywhere. He's very fast when he wants to be, chat. Okay. Let's see if this is a sufficient amount of time. I'll even go over here briefly. Hold on a minute, I'm collecting them now. Ah, uh, so we need more time. The 
This quest is pretty short, but it does give us a very important relic for- or, excuse me, an important artifact for later. Interestingly, I could go to the right here. I don't think I've ever tried going to the right in this quest. Let me double check to see if there's anything else I need to do. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I think I had to leave the screen once and then this will occur. What are you doing? Picking green balls, waiting for Niccolo. I'm gonna say, waiting for Niccolo. Uh-huh. What are you doing here? You're in the way. Uh, I'm gonna say talking to a fairy. What fairy? You're just imagining things. Let's go now. Here, this is for you. Green ball bun. Artifact broken doll acquired. I'm gonna show you my gratitude. Here's 500 lucre. That's actually useful for later. So the important thing is we got this broken doll. <laughs> I think I went like 20 events or something ridiculous before I got this item the first time. The broken doll will unlock some mechanics for us later. No, we don't need to worry about it. So we're going to be going to one of the more annoying mazes in the game, unfortunately, after this. So enjoy the straightforward dungeons. As, uh, this game has a couple of questionable levels. So we're going to be dealing with, uh, wait a bit here. We have puzzles and a maze to contend with. Chat knows I love them. Chat knows my favorite thing to do is play with mazes. So let's see, I'm going to place the ancient tablet we received earlier directly next to our building and we should be good to go. Okay. So I'm gonna make sure I save with the events. We can take a look at what's being written in here. So you can see we didn't quite go in the order that the game wants, but that's fine. Actually, we'll read the we'll read the recaps next time. Hello, Charlie. Hope you're doing well. Sorry, the announcements thing just does not like your name. Thank you again for the 15 months. I believe it was your birthday recently. If so, happy belated birthday. This way. It was yesterday. Well, happy birthday. So we have one, two, three, four, and then I'm going to place the building here. So I'm going to make sure that it is ancient tablet that I place here. So we're making some progress on the overworld at least. Boing boing. The Mindus ruins. Tea time of danger. Tipo wanted to go off and pick some tea leaves, but we got separated. I hate getting lost. Virgin Psy. What, pray tell, is Virgin Psy, and why are we able to pocket that? How is it classified? It's, it's a vial, of course. <laughs> right, Chad, that's something. Ooh, we could get more seeds from this, which is good. 
So I'm doing kind of like little uppercut motions with it. If I just do normal inputs, you see me do this. If I hold towards an enemy, I think it also does it as well. Big seed, nice. So you can see here, I could just kind of rapid spam the heavy attack. So you can hear that little beep sound, that's me canceling the ability. So that way I'm not in as big of a pause. If I do it correctly, I could chain them. So I gotta wait for the move to be partially in effect before I do that. This is worth five times experience. Not bad. Too bad they're dropping so few crystals, it doesn't matter. Hello. The flowerling near the four gates does the opening and closing, and key flowerlings somewhere else work in unison. Remember the formation of the flowerings and which gates they open. I don't think we have to go in this room, but I'll, I'll take a quick look at it. I guess if I want the treasure, I'll take it. Black and bad. So yeah, th basically we're gonna be orienter. Excuse me, we're gonna be reorienting saplings to face certain directions to open gates. So rather than going back and forth in this dungeon over and over, we're just gonna we're gonna shortcut it a little. Ooh, what a face! What are you called? Malboro, okay. <laughs> Man, he can really just keep spirit away. What a character. I'm kind of happy to continually get seeds, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, please. Somebody help me. These awful gates won't stop opening and closing. Talk to you. I am connected with them. Thank you, Calvisham, for the good luck. We see Tipo on the other side there, but we can't do anything yet. Ruined glory section. I gotta go here. Our link corner. We are the keys to the gates. That should be the first solution. Yay, puzzles. So I'd have to traverse a couple screens to see what that did specifically. But we'll take that for now. So unfortunately, I think the lunge of the spear does move me forward, which I actually don't want, which is a bit disappointing. Yeah, so now we should be able to go to the upper left if we need to. Megalith structure. I think we're gonna have to know- Oh! Chocobo, I don't think you're supposed to clip into the object like that. Nice, nice little visual bug there, right chat? Oops! The monster's on the wrong layer compared to the rest of the terrain. We do need to know how to come back here at some point. Not yet, not yet. I don't feel a thing. Hmm. Yeah, Kevin was clipping out of existence there. I am connected with them. Oh, she's body blocking me. There we go. So fortunately, I think the puzzles mostly just make the less than sign. As long as we keep doing that, we should be fine. So yeah, otherwise we would just have to... So if Chad is wondering, you do just have to kind of rotate them until you see the right door open. So I figured I'd save us some time. Um... Hmm. I guess just left. Okay, there's a treasure here. Creepy eye attained. Preparing psychokinesis. Psychokinesis activated. Very casual things that you normally say to people. 
I think the bottom path might just be a treasure. I might as well just go see what it is. We don't have to go this way, I don't think. Lots of money. So every one of those is worth 10. Interesting. Flower corner key. Hmm. I don't think I want to do anything with you. I think I gotta leave you as is. So let, let's ignore them for now. I don't think I need them for anything. <laughs> there we go. Did you, did you see that cancel felt more more on point chat. I had a good rhythm going there. That's what I want to see. Nothing but heavies. So I'm getting back into things a little bit. So she's connected with them. So if we go this way. So I think I got to open up the other door now. So I'm going to undo the other formation here. Let's form a slash. So I'm going to move it back to where she was. So basically I'm trying to make it back to the dungeon. To get body blocks super hard. Now if I talk to her because psychokinesis is activated, I think this is all I need to do. I feel it, I feel it. There we go. So that wasn't, that wasn't too bad, but you could very easily just go down the wrong doors and waste a lot of time. Man, he, so I do move forward a little bit each time, which is unfortunate, because it means I can't quite infinite it. Unfortunate. So I can do the cancels that the other weapons can, I just can't literally stand still in infinite. I do have to reset, so it makes it a little fair, I guess. Oh, the vampire. I think my directions were briefly reversed, but it doesn't really matter. As chat can see, you gain full health whenever you clear combat, by the way. But there's also no healing in combat, so you do actually have to be kind of careful with boss fights if you're not constantly upgrading. Well, I had a good rhythm there. If I hear the boop, it means I did it wrong. Honestly, that might be worth getting a counterattack. That's not counterattack. What? Nope. Oh, because I've defend. Because I've defended general, I got counterattack. I'm like, wait a minute. No, that's not correct. Uh, let me do something real quick. Let's put on the Forbidden Ring before the boss fight so we can level our buddy. Clear Feather acquired, nice. So let's see how many heavy attacks I could chain. Oh, Duel, where are you? Why don't you come for me? I'm lonely. I'm so bloody well bleeding lonely. I'm gonna spill. See the bat on the ceiling. Why, you're that Trey. Look, he's so happy to see us. He has a little music note and everything. I met a domino. Blimey, I went out looking for nice tea leaves and I got lost. So I ended up here, deep underground. I wonder why Dwell hasn't come for me yet. I did fancy that bloke, so... Oh, I almost forgot. Terrible blood-sucking bat lives here. Do watch out as we get bitten. Ouch. Now we become vampire. Well, take care around here. Thanks, Tipo. Tipo? Tipo. Boss fight time. Let's see how many I can chain here. Ugh. First, I get a magical creature full of water. And now a filthy human. Only the blood of the peaceful dove can quench my thirst. I love Kevin jamming out to the music, by the way. Well, let's start by disposing of these meddlesome humans. Oh, 
Oh, I had a good rhythm going there. And that was almost a stun lock, by the way, chat. Like, that was a legit stun lock. Oh, back up a little bit. Go, Kevin. All right, let's do that again. Oh, I didn't get the cancel. Holy, there we go. That was a lot in a row. I gotta practice that more. I'm gonna punish you, get some health. Yeah, it is, it is a shame we move forward, but it still kind of works in the corner at least. The, if they corner themselves, it's just kind of GG. The nice thing is if I do with the special, there is a couple of seconds afterwards where I gain health while invincible. We'll mostly use the special strikes to become invincible. Yeah, we're just straight up in a... Yeah. You thought you were getting a combo? I'm gonna punish you. Goodbye. Nice level up for Kevin. Convincing. 75 XP. Nice. So Kevin's now slightly tankier. You got Artifact, Bottled Spirit. So yeah, Spear's a little awkward to combo with, but uh, it's fine. At least I learned that we have a semi-infinite in corners. Well, oi! Why did you come and fetch me? You had quite an adventure out there gathering tea leaves, didn't you? Life is full of adventure. Only those who enjoy it can grow. You're right, but I felt so helpless, honest gov. Wow, that's a thick accent. Ha <laughs> ha Well, let's go home and have some tea. Right. I want to have some tea and forget this old bleeding thing. Then off to another adventure. Oh dear me, no thank you. So anyway, we rescue Tifo. Hmm. I'm gonna walk a little bit on the overworld so that the food grows. I think this should be good. So we're gonna go get the event, and then I guess we'll bring in a NPC for the first time? Since that'll save me some time later. Oh, I didn't get good wiggles there. I gotta work on the wiggle. There we go, that was a much better wiggle. I still need to go in the same direction that I need to go in. So it requires like really rapidly going back and forth. So if I just do like, basically like forward, upright, downright, forward, repeatedly, then if I'm just going in a straight line, I get a lot of more speed than I'm supposed to have. But again, some of it is just like really rapid movements. It can be kind of difficult because there's sometimes you have to curve around things. I'm happy we level Trey again. So he's not gonna do like a ton of damage unless I get him like with an aggressive nature. Because then he'll actively just spam attacks. I believe I need you. Master, call me your number one apprentice, bud. Study magic at the academy. Heard of the seven wisdoms of mana. Except one died, so now there's only six. Sure would like to meet them someday. I wonder where they are. Hey, take me on a search for them. We're gonna say yes. Now you're talking. So we joined our party. Seven Wisdoms. We're not gonna be completing this until much later in the game for clarity because it involves us going to at least six different locations and we don't have those yet. But we're about to go to one of the locations that does have one. So I figured it'd just save us some time to do. Like a peach puppy? What is this thing called? Let's learn together. It is called a peach puppy. Ooh, I think the clover is good for us. Heart mint. Huh. 
citrus squid. I technically don't have to bother doing this, but I figure I might as well showcase one of the mechanics. Take a little bit of time with it. That is a lot of cherry bombs, which is good for HP. I think I will feed those so our partner lives longer. <laughs> Lots of bumpkins and cherry bombs. That was a good wiggle. Like, you can tell it's a good wiggle, wiggle because if you just run normally, like, it takes a little while to get to the edge, but then you do this, and you're just, like, there instantly. So sadly, we haven't picked up too many new seed types despite killing those enemies. Oh, we found some seeds finally. Long seed. Oblong seed. Okay, we got another one. Long seed. Flat seed. Okay, that's a new seed type. Small seed. Okay. So that's good. Do we start mix and matching if we want to? I'll do two big seeds together. And then I'll try many, one of the others combined, maybe. So we'll try... Flat seed plus... Oblong seed. What's Kevin's stats looking like? So I'm at 77 HP. He's at 55. He still has about the same amount of power. HP. So his HP stat is pretty good. Oh, magic impacts magic defense. Oh, that makes more sense. Defense is defense. Skill is technical attack level. Spirit is defense against status magic, which I don't super care about. Honestly, the bottom row is not that important. Luck might be useful to get. So I think just like power, defense, HP, luck. I'm not sure I really care about the monsters getting status ailmented. Magic damage might be important, but most of the time we should be able to combo enemies out of it. Let's feed. Let's give him... Two cherry bombs. Do I have anything that increases damage, though? Hmm. Check real quick. Apartment gives charm and makes them less lazy, which is useful. But sadly, most of these I don't super care about. I want the Rhinolope, which requires round spiny, round flat, or round and round. So we'll eventually get to that. Yeah, I think I ended up trying to breed uh, something called Toadstool Shed because it gives 0.25 to everything and also gives them magic resist. I think that is like one of the ultimate things you could feed them. I think Bumpkin is Bumpkin is power and spirit, but we have to remove laziness every now and then. So we'll give him more HP and then see how he goes here. But I do recall liking Bumpkin as long as you balance it out every now and then. It's not too bad. Because you don't want to make them lazy or else they'll have high stats and then just not attack. Which really sucks. So I think we could do at least one more quest. We have the Bottled Spirit, which we're going to place... The furthest we're going to place anything away from our buildings, which is here. At least along the bottom row. And I guess we're good to go. So now potentially we could be leveling our partner as well, because Bud is not really leveled. We're going to be unlocking a very important feature for people looking to play the higher difficulties. For me, I'll occasionally use it, but it's not a high priority. Go ahead and pick 
this item up. <laughs> we got rust. I will say, some of the items are quite terrible. Hey, it's Fokiel. I'm Bud. Came to listen to the wisdoms to become a great wizard. Hello, Bud. The goddess is always doing her best to help us. All we need to do is find out what she has done for us. Thanks, Fokiel. Good day. I am Pokiel the Storyteller. The Master is away. He's probably out mining deep in the dungeon. Mind your own business. Let me tell you of Watt's heroic exploits when he comes back. Well, now we gotta go find him. So that's all we needed Bud for, by the way, chat. Just that one conversation. It saves me a ton of time later. Oh, he's using a harp. Yeah, let's see the magic spell. That did like no damage. Gain an ability, grapple, there we go. We have defend and push. So we did unlock grapple, which I didn't get to use, but we could use grapple plus spin for I think the upgraded version. So basically, we can just toss people. We'll try to use grapple at least once, now that we have it fully unlocked. Let's leave a shop a bit too often, I think. So basically, we just gotta keep descending downwards. There's not too much tricky about this place, fortunately. Oops, I missed the grapple. There we go. So I have like little moves. If I'm close, I could try to chuck them. But you can see they could fall on me on occasion and I don't do damage. It's just a little risky. I do like that I can instantly confuse the enemy though. So if an enemy is trying to make something unsafe for me, I can just cancel into a spin there like that. Oh, he's so under leveled, he got 30 per. Oh, that's funny. So if I level too much, our allies don't get as much. That's interesting. I guess that's a fair way to balance it. Oh, I don't think this is the right way. I need to go downwards. Abandoned room. Yeah, we can't do anything here yet. So down we go. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Uh, I guess I'll use the save statue. I don't think I've done anything that would really mess anything up yet. I guess I can make a safety save here. In case I do botch something, so I have a different save file to go back to. It's always nice to have backups. I think I gotta go this way. Yeah, down the stairs. When in doubt, just look for downstairs and you're good. Okay, so we're already down here. That's a good sign. Furious copter time. Nice kills. We're gonna see if Kevin goes in. Oh, Kevin tried. The enemy's immortal though, because it's being hit. Look at Kevin go. Look at him go. Nice teamwork. We acquired acid. It seems kind of unsafe to just kind of collect like that. Oh. Is this not the right way? Wait, what? Am I missing something? I ran level two. I mean, I don't mind refighting these. Maybe I'm just missing like the small part that I can walk in. So there we go. So normally I could just kind of do some light combos into like a stun, which is somewhat useful. 
So I have like semi infinites on them now. Intended infinites at least. Huh. I actually can't seem to do anything here. Maybe I did go the wrong way. Whoops. Oh well, back up the stairs we go, I guess. Yeah, let's just go this way then. I thought it was just straight down the stairs, but clearly it's not, sadly. I like that he could just kind of combo that. I love that so much. But if I do it too often, it, it confuses myself. I like those little combo resets. Uh, they just need to go. Enough of the slimes, chat. More acid. I'm gonna choose to dodge that spell. Oh, they got frosted. Filthy slime, something like that. Dub. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna be meeting these a lot in the future. Dub chat. Now we're going up the stairs. Across the bridge. I did like my little spin attack there, though. But sadly, it does make me stunned. Why are you rising crushing from that far? Will that even reach? No, no, it won't. You're an idiot. AI's a little derpy, but that's fine. They're, at least they're not dying constantly. I'll give them that. They're mostly out of range of combat. They got a little tricked by that small little platform over there. Master's new ability twister. That could be useful. Let's check that out. Mighty Javelin is basically outclassed. <sighs> All right, Chad, I just... I don't want minor damage moves. We need something better than this. Oh, yeah, I didn't unlock Whirl yet. He only excuse the AI has is a PS1 game, yeah, pretty much. Uh, let's see what Twister does. I swear, for AI stunbox, I'm gonna be so mad. That is not a good ability. I don't like that at all. I'm replacing the other one. I mean, I guess I like that it launches them, but ooh, it's not a good AOE for for hits all enemies. That's kind of a not long range ability. Unfortunate. So we've only unlocked one okayish boss move, which is a little sad. I guess I could, I mean, we'll eventually get it because I'm learning all the skills, but that is a little sad. Watts is just over here. <laughs> what a face he has. I'm busy, you. Come back later. Stop it, you. Let me be. I said cut it out. This place is dangerous. You best be on your way. Anyway, we're gonna go fight the ceiling monster. Oh, dodge it with an ability. Oh, look at those cancels. Oh, that was a good cancel. Damn, that was a good cancel. Uh, what? Oh, we killed him so fast the game didn't know what to do. <laughs> right, Chad? It, it actually genuinely didn't know what to do. That was kind of sad. 
if I'm canceling too quickly. Oh, bodied. There we go, Chocobo's back. Kevin is returned. Oh yeah, I gotta cancel a little better than that. There we go. There's the rhythm. It's such a good rhythm. Although their AI partner just messed me up. Let me get a couple hits there. Oh, that does work on bosses. Huh, I didn't... Okay. So you can get some pretty... So without knowing the glitch with it, you can get a pretty long combo and reset into that. It's not bad. I think this is GG for the boss, though. GG boss. I think I forced... I was gonna say, I forced a couple teammates to level there. There we go, we learned Whirl. Gave him a solid 80 across the board. That might help us for later. What are you doing in a place like this? Mining is good here, but there's a fear- Oh, excuse me, there's a ferocious monster about. Go home. I'm gonna say I defeated it. Already defeated it? You? You must be joking. Nope. We're too strong, chat. Why, you're the one I saw back in the dungeon. Yes. Oh, who cares about that, right? Well, I'm busy right now, so make yourself at home. Ahem. Well then, now that he's here, allow me to tell you of Watt's heroic exploits. Ladies and gentlemen, Pokio presents Watt's Bravery. Oh, Watts, a small body under a great helm. He strikes with his hammer. Um, and his great helm. Watts, our Watts, your soul is your great helm. Watts, Watts, our Watts, you haven't really done that much. The end. Shut it, you. There we go. He's getting trolled by his bird poet? Question mark? No story to tell. You got Artifact Moon's Mirror. I believe at this point I could just leave the person behind. Mind your business has ended. So basically the sad part is I do like that you could choose your partners for some of the events. But every time you go to update the little cactus, what has been going on, Sadly, it gets rid of the partner, and that's where I would have liked to have seen, like, in, like, modernization of this game. You should not lose your partner for going back to the house. I don't know why they decided to do that. It's... I'm sure it's due to some cutscenes requiring them, but I feel like that's kind of an unfortunate way they decided to handle it. Wow, we're already doing super well with the elements here. Let's go back, report the quest, then we'll have a quick little chat. Like, Bud will leave us here, is what I mean by that. See ya! It also means that if you've been partnering with other people, I guess they just don't want you to save? But why would it matter if you saved at the house? I don't know. Because you could save at other points in the game. How was Tale of Heroics? Let's go do this to make sure it's saved. And let's go recap the events that we did today. And then that will end our little portion of the game, I think, for today. Sorry about those earlier technical issues. I think we're doing fine today, after the controller switch. Third time's the charm. So let's see. Let's summarize what we did, rather than talk about what we did in the list chat. 
Let's see what we did. Nick's business. My master beat bandits with a creature called Niccolo. Niccolo was scared of the banditos, but I'm not, I'm scared to know what Niccolo is. What could he possibly be? Event number two. Today I heard a story about two little sorcerers trying to become kings of this world, but pumpkins? Can they use pumpkins? Hope they're still yummy. A big face on a mountain. It's hard to believe, but my master saw it, so I guess it's true. It knows and doesn't know lots of things. What an amazing world. A pelican kidnapped a little boy? I guess... I kind of thought he was supposed to be older, but I guess it makes sense he's a kid. And it threw the boy away somewhere? That's just not right. What are the people at the Child Protection Agency doing? It sounds like today's adventure was about opening and closing flowerling gates. Today's monster kept sucking out my master's blood. Stop bothering my master. The Birdman says Watt doesn't have any heroic stories to tell. Wish someone would come up with a story about me. He moves like lightning. He kicks monster butts. I think I'd like that. Popo Bug is really long. Lots and lots of knobs. It's easy to break one Popo Bug to make two Popo Bugs. Who gets hurt when a Popo Bug is in someone's tummy? The Popo Bug? Green balls look like locusts without their wings. Hey, don't look like that yummy to me. I'd rather a fish for dinner. Mr. Grandpa Tree is so big and scary, it makes me want to hide by his roots. His roots look like the best place to hide. Yeah, also weirdly, chat, like... Perfect mayhem! Oh, thank you, Jupiter, for the good luck. We're actually wrapping up here. But welcome, everybody. Been way too long. Thank you for the raid. We're just going over our different events for today. So let's see, we talked about that event. Now my master can bring back eggs as of other animals to raise them as pets. I can't pet them because I'm all spiky, but humans will be okay because they aren't spiky like me. And chat, that's all the events that we did today. So we still have another 60-some events. So there's still quite a bit to do here. You're wide open. Thank you, the Great Marlboro, for the follow. I mean, I was planning to stop, but I guess I could do one more event. I guess it would be rude to just immediately leave. <laughs> Sure, we'll do one more event. Hopefully everybody's doing well. Welcome to the stream. You're wide open. Thank you, Twisty Tank, for the follow. So let's see. Chat has basically selected the weapon that I'm using for the run. I played this game a very long time ago. So I'm just trying to follow a specific walkthrough to make sure I don't miss events. That is like the big hassle of this game. But otherwise, it's kind of nice. Oh, there are so many follows. Thank you, Disco Rice. Thank you, Lilith. Thank you, Colsey. Yeah, I've been meaning to get back to it. We've been playing the Mana series. So we went through... Uh, You're wide open. I was going to say Adventures of Mana. We went through Final Fantasy Adventure, excuse me. Secret of Mana, Trials of Mana, Trials of Mana Remake. And we have now reached to this game. So we're going in order. The music is fantastic. Fully agree, Disco Rice. You can hear, especially when you go to, what is it called, the Luminous Caverns, you can hear like little hints, or it might be Earth Caverns in this game. You can hear little hints of uh, Kingdom Hearts in there, since it's the same composer. So, Chan has been naming monsters and characters and stuff like that. We just have to get a little further, so let's, I guess, go back to the mines. Yeah, let's go back to the mines. Although I think this one doesn't have any combat. We should at least do one with combat. The Jimmy Quest has music that is so moving. Oh, it's a fantastic soundtrack. I highly recommend Chan. Even if you don't watch the playthrough, listen to the soundtrack. It really is phenomenal start to finish. Uh, I don't think I'll take the... Dub Bear? I don't think I'll take the Dub Bear Express. I don't need that for this quest. See, we were talking a little bit about practicing different mechanics. So speaking of which, I believe I just learned Whirl recently. I did. So this game has a basically a slowly unlocking tree of abilities. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to Push and Whirl. So basically, it's kind of like a mix and match. We start with, uh, what is it, eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We start with eight basic abilities, and by combining two of them, we could get a more advanced technique. So, because we just learned Whirl, we could combine Push and Whirl in order to 
use bash, I believe is what it's called. We're leaving a slot open in our special techniques to allow for attack resets. So I guess I'll showcase the attack resets if people have not done it before. It's a little awkward with the spear, but it is kind of nice. So this is what normally happens. If you do normal attacks, look at the long pause between this attack. It's super, super delayed. But if we cancel it with the right timing, we could keep rapid stabbing. Unfortunately, that enemy died before I could showcase anything. Let's try a harder room. Don't mind me. We have to go back up a floor since our destination was up there, but that's fine. Let's go for a good combo here. So you can hear it hitting the cancel sound because it's trying to use a special technique. But you can just repeatedly thrust. Look how fast that is. So strong. You can also do that with jumps, and you can also cancel certain moves by, like, uppercutting. So you can do, like, a normal thrust into the uppercut. I think they're called thrust moves. So you can end up getting some pretty ridiculous damage pretty quickly. So even if you're not going for some, like, final fight attack resets where you do, like, a few jabs and then, like, tur turn away from the enemy and then face them again, there there's some fast ways you could clear out the crowds. I guess I'll use an ability. Sure, we'll use Twister. It's slower than just strong attacking, but it is amusing. Take that item real quick. So I believe we just gotta talk to the blacksmith again. Yeah, let's catch up to him. Lost my trusty hammer, so my work isn't going well at all. If you see it anywhere, please give it back to me, will ya? Uh, we'll say yes. Much thanks. You just give me hammer back. Why, I teach you how to be a blacksmith. Watch drops the hammer. Ooh. That is... Not the correct quest. Oh, no, no, no. We're fine. We're fine. We have to do this one first. Disregard. So we'll talk to him one more time. So he does act as like a little merchant. I don't think he has an upgrade for us. I should be using the spear already. Not sure why it listed like that. Did I not equip the spear upgrade? I never equipped the spear upgrade. Oops. I was like, wait a minute. Like, that shouldn't be an upgrade. Okay, now I think I'm gonna use the express. There's also some pretty hilarious movement in this game. So we'll showcase with this big open area. Nice, I gained bash ability, that's huge. So normally if you run, this is about the average run speed. You kind of have like the Super Metroid Samus wiggles. Like you kind of arm pump, you've got to wiggle. If you do wiggles, you go hilariously fast. You can see the camera trying to catch up to me. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So when in doubt, just wiggle it out, chat. <laughs> so I think now that we unlock that, we're kind of going through and trailblazing and getting all these abilities, which is kind of nice. Let's see, we have Bash. I don't think I need that for anything else. Did I ever learn Somersault? I don't think I did, right? No, I didn't. So we'll do... Jump plus Lunge. So if I were to press Triangle and Circle together, I could get the advanced technique early. So sometimes if you're playing towards the end of the game, you might want to put some basic abilities there, so you technically have like a floating third ability. But honestly, most of the time it doesn't matter too much. Oh, Dud Bear, excuse me. Dead Bear Express. I would like to take this. Get out of the way. Found the hammer. Let's take an investigate the book. Book of poems. Do you want to read it? Sure. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Why do you twinkle the way you do? Are you laughing because you're just too happy? Or is the cold wind making you shiver? Hey. Oh, we took his poem book. You. Don't go read my poems like that. Dub. Dubba? Oh, we're, we're gonna have fun with that later. Arf. So we have a very interesting group of people down here. But we have the hammer. 
So all we need to do now is slowly return back to the surface. Oops, canceling too quickly. If I do it too fast, you hear it beep at me and it gets mad at me. No button mashing for me. Dragon Bone, that's an interesting collection, actually. Easy combo. Hmm. Let's find our way out of here, chat. Bug meat. Ah, oh, not that useful. The light is within the darkness. Is it though? So we're playing on the literally PS1 version of the game for clarity. The Steam version allows you to skip combat and do things like that, but I don't know. I heard some very shaky things. Are there? Is there anybody in the chat that has played the Steam version, for example? I know, for example, De Novo was a big concern when it released that caused the game to actually lag, which is crazy. How do you lag a PS1 game on like a modern PC? That's actually impressive. Uh, I don't have to fight you, but I'll fight you anyway. Right, I was showcasing the somersault. Sadly, it doesn't look like it could do anything special with it. All right, so I could get kind of like a thrust chain going if I want. There we go. Better rhythm that time. So we are just kind of absorbing all the XP. You're wide open. Thank you for the follow, Demon2189. Hopefully you're doing well. Does your guide include getting moves learned for specials? There are there is a section for it. I'm not looking at it currently. I'm just looking to unlock everything rapidly. So sadly, because I'm going in the order that I'm used to going in, we have some pretty terrible abilities. Like we're left with Lancer, which is like the starting move and we've gotten like literally nothing. So sad. But yeah, we'll, we'll unlock the other abilities. The more I have, the more I'll slowly unlock. So it should be fine. Yeah, some of the other ones require more advanced ones, and we've gotten the more advanced ones already, but I think I'm missing things like Moon Soul. So until I get some of the better jump abilities, I don't think I'm gonna get anything too powerful. But I guess to answer your question, I could take a look at what Spear would technically get. One moment. Yeah, so if I want like my first damage rank four move, I would need crouch, moonsault, double jump, and spin. I have spin, double jump, crouch, but not moonsault. So I'm slowly going towards that one, but there's a few other ones I have to get. So there's quite a few that need defensive lunge. We'll probably be picking that up after moonsault. Specifically the building, or the ability I'm mentioning is lo and behold. Yeah, nice, peaceful little journey through here. Whoop, <laughs> big whiff. There we go, that was a pretty easy quest. All I had to do was find the hammer. Whoa, that's my hammer! Give it back, you! Youngsters these days will take anybody's things. Dot, 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 dot. That's not what I meant. <laughs> Forgot I asked you to bring it back. Please forget what I said. Don't hate me. Well, we'll be getting something potentially useful here. So now the most important thing. Little mini quest has been completed. The event is over. We must go back to Little Cactus. <laughs> the fear of missing a journal entry is so strong, chat. I'm going to go for the first ever 100% I've tried to go for. But I have a feeling I'm probably going to get hard denied on one of these diary entries. So we'll see this really sad, like, 66 out of 67. <laughs> where I accidentally get a double event and don't want it. It's going to be so tragic, chat, when it happens. Because one thing we have to be careful about is that Little Cactus will eventually leave the house under certain conditions. And that means if you cleared an event, 
you're no longer able to hand it in. So that's kind of sad when that happens. Hammer. So let's make sure he writes in that little diary. There we go. I think it's time to finally unlock one of the mechanics of the game in a moment, actually. So I'll do a little safety save here. So, so far we've unlocked the ability to collect monsters. We de-weeded the orchard. So we could get food if we want to upgrade the pet further, for example. But there are a couple shops that should now function since we help Watts out a little bit. Ooh, I love the little I love the little produce that appears here. We don't have to do this. I just like showcasing it. So we got the fishy fruit. Spring Dana. Nice. Is this like lettuce and porcupine? Net need a lettuce. Makes sense. We have the citrus fruit already. So yeah, we'll feed the pet a little bit. I mostly just want to show off different kinds of produce. Habadillo is a nice one. Do a little wiggle walk there to save some time. It could be a little finicky grabbing them. And some of the ones that do look like they're partially grown are a little hard to tell from a distance. But fortunately, we let enough days pass that that doesn't matter. This will be like one of the final times that we do this. I'm looking to get a spiny seed, but I doubt we'll get it. Crooked seed is new. So I guess we'll show off different types of fruit with the oblong seed. So fortunately, if we ever really need additional seeds, we could just go back to any of the early areas because they just have uh, lots of lilies and the lilies will essentially give us the seeds that we need. Assuming we want to max that like a pet. But I guess... I guess it doesn't matter from this point forward. Let's just equip the Forbidden Ring permanently. Oh, it's still on. That's good. Speaking of which, how, t how tanky is our pet right now? 74 HP? Not bad. Damage has not gone up very much. So sadly, across like three levels, it's gone up one damage. It's not very good. But that's okay. Thank you, HypnoGogek22 for the follow. Appreciate it. Uh, more bumpkins always fun. I need something to balance out the attitude of the beast, so I'll probably do Hartman. Anything else I want to really add? Not really. Oh, I didn't actually see what Cornflower and Cabadillo do. Let's see. Habadillo gives us negative charm, but up defense and spirit. Slightly reduces magic resistance, but increases physical resistance. Uh, I don't think that's really worth it, to be honest. Then the last one that we didn't see, I think, was Cornflower. Cornflower gives charm, magic, and aggression. Oh, I like aggression. Let's make, the, let's make the pet as aggressive as possible. It is kind of a shame, though, that if you do want to, like, sit there and max stat the, like, the chocobo, potentially you have to just save up, like, a bazillion mush in a box, no, toadstool, toadstool houses. And if you do that, then you can slowly raise all the stats and resistances simultaneously. But anyway, let's complete this quest at least. Whoa! Just finished making the blacksmithy you asked for. Ah, youngsters these days don't know the meaning of gratitude. I? You never asked me. Great Scott, so why did I... Oh, now I get it. <laughs> I got so caught up in building the smithy, I forgot to... I came to thank you. Please forget what I just said. Don't hate me. I'll tell you how to make weapons, so have a heart. Right, first come on in. 
sure. Path of the Blacksmith. I don't know how much we'll be using this, but it is useful if we get some late game materials. It saves us looking for shops later. That's it. You got it. It's all in the hammer. The right hit makes the right sound. It's all in the hammer. Keep doing that for about a million times. You'll be a right craftsman. I think I gotta ask a question. Let's ask about forging. It's the same for both weapons and armor. Choose the materials. And forge it with your hammer. However, the basic bit power is decided by the materials, not by your hammer and skill. You need to work on your hammer and skill. One million strikes. Let's ask about altering. Make alterations. You first choose an item. It may affect the ability bonuses at elemental property levels, depending on the mystic powers contained therein. That all depends on the item, not your blacksmithing. You need to work on your hammer skills, yeah, yeah. We'll do general tips. Choosing materials. The effect the materials have is really quite simple. You tell by looking at the various statistics after you forge something. You come naturally after making a few pieces. You can't change the material properties used in your hammer, I'm afraid. You need to- yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go to the next one. We'll do general tips. Effects of altering. Making alterations will change statistics depending on what item you use. It's like increasing attack power, changing elemental property levels. I like how he doesn't quite explain what elemental property levels do. I mean, you could kind of assume to some extent the game does not like to give you details. Although you could always tell what the effect is right away. If you alter in a piece, you'll start to see a difference. It just doesn't matter how many times it's tempered. Okay, final question. Mystic powers. Miniscale changes occur after... Oh, excuse me, occur through altering. Mystic powers are the embodiment of those changes. When the energy of those changes becomes strong enough. The energy of change can be brought about. Then it affects the piece's abilities and para parameters, but it won't work just by hitting it with your hammer. Yeah, that should finish the quest. Good job. I was lying about the million strikes. When I was a lad, my master trained me like that too. Now you're able to make any kind of weapon or armor, but you'll need materials. So if you're just starting out, I'll give you this. Then of bronze. Well, I'll be going then. Wow, he just gave us bronze? Talk about bottom of the barrel chat, jeez. Good luck to you. Hmm? Did I give you materials for weapons and armor? I thought I brought something to give you. I'm gonna say, no you didn't. <laughs> oh, I didn't, did I? Then I almost forgot. Since you're just starting out, I'll give you this. Got another Menos Bronze. Alright then, keep it up and you'll be a fine blacksmith. Well, at least I got two Menos Bronze, I guess. Path of the Blacksmith, the end. That's nice and simple. Did a couple extra quests for chat. So we'll be continuing this, I think, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's a lot of fun. Then eventually it'll be uploaded on YouTube. There's a big backlog for YouTube stuff. <laughs> I think it almost got through all the PSO. Almost. And then I'll schedule more. <laughs> it's so close. Talk to him, weapons finished, sure, sure. So we'll read the journal entries for the last two, then we'll take a break. I want to talk about something unrelated to Legend of Mana after this. Let's see. Uh, we heard mining business before. Which one did we not see? Blacksmithing? There's a new room in the backyard workshop. To make weapons and armors from my master to be able to whack some more little monsters. That's not nice. We should all be friends. And we have Watts hammer. Watts lost his hammer, but my master found it for him. Doesn't it feel good to do good things? Be nice if Master could read me a story once in a while. Please? Yeah, don't worry. So we made some progress. Like a sixth of the game done through events. So let's save. And let's chat a little. You're wide open! 
oh boy it's it's catching up to all the other ones we'll put on some music since we transitioned off that scene you're wide open so how do we feel about the session so far so aside from the early hiccups uh i think i mostly remembered the gimmicks open. with the cancels there's some i want to practice i think with jump so once we're done learning all the skills, I want to practice some jump cancels. Because it is nice being able to do like the solid thrust into the uppercut for combos to kind of mix things up. And uh, despite really not leveling that much and not buying more than just a weapon, I think we're doing fine so far. The game isn't known for being like crazy hard. But from the standpoint of not upgrading armor and using a sometimes awkward weapon, I think we're doing pretty good. So I think we'll continue to uh, kick butt with it next time. But I think that's all I have to add for this particular uh, portion of our video. So I guess it's time to say goodbye to YouTube first. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again in the next part.